on. Hey, well, yeah, he's hosting. Yeah, we'll say something. Yeah, no, I was just trying to wait and see what I was, <laughs> was kind of feeling it out. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, welcome back to the show. We are the Bonsai Movie Crew. I'm Joseph. I'm here with Matt and Karen. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get one of those little sound machines. Yeah, I thought about uh, like, little, giving a little uh, bump. Like one little button with a little, yeah. yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought about going in and editing after like after we record and stuff like, oh, I'm going to add in some sound bites. <laughs> you know how much time that would take? It'd and just be easier to have a bump. I don't know, and I also feel like that sounds, or that seems so lame. It, it Yeah, I, I could see that. Like It would just consume so much more editing time. Yeah. No, I, we can I, get it, a, I wouldn't be I'm able to post like, it. Let's get, just get a little, little soundboard. soundboard. Yeah, where it's got the bumps in it. Okay. And then if people say, "Man, that's lame," you'd be like, "Cool, don't care." <laughs> we I, think we it's enjoy fun. it. Uh, you gotta, <laughs> well, you gotta have, you got you gotta have sound bumps that are like that are funny and shit. Well, okay, if they were funny, I'm just saying. Like, like, well, you know. I li- well I listen to like uh, I listen to um, straight chilling podcasts, and one of them is like every time, so, like they'll call out a '69, like, and they use the sound bump from uh, from. Uh, Bill and Ted, sixty nine, dude. I uh, mean, yeah, that kind of stuff. Like I guess. No, I think we should get one for like the little, the little intro. Yeah, it's, a, it's the bit Bonsai Movie Crew. Yay! <laughs> yeah. That would be funny. That would be. Funny. Well, we got we got uh, the kid that lives next door over here. He's got a he's got a band. He's got a death metal band. I thought about having him record some sound bumps for me. <laughs> Have his band record some shit for me. Just like some short, like you know, one or two second fucking bumps or whatever, like. Anyway, <laughs> we digress. We digress. Anyway, so um, let's jump into some goddamn news. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Lost my notes. Did you guys hear Jay Leno got like seriously injured? Like yeah, burned. burned. Yeah, oh, I was going to say, did his chin burns? finally get in the way? <laughs> oh, come on, man. Oh, that's a big chin. That was it actually kind of, that was a good one. <laughs> but still, I, I, hope it, I hope he ends up okay. Yeah, he's pretty good. He, I, I all was never all I show. heard was that he got seriously burned. I haven't heard anything yeah. beyond that. I like I've never what been the like prognosis the, is or uh, anything like that. Yeah, I did, I just hear he got badly burned. That's all. Well, I if heard. you like that news, you're gonna love this. There's a new trailer out for Magic Mike Three. I've never seen any of the other ones. That has nothing to do with Jay Leno. I know, but, but I tried to watch like one. <laughs> but if it did, one it would time, be awesome. <laughs> I've 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 seen the second one. I didn't watch the first one. Was there continuity problems with that? I didn't really care because I wasn't really trying to watch it. Crystal wanted to watch it, and it was at the house. So I, was I just, just like, imagine that's like watching. She's like, I want to watch this movie, and I was like doing something. Anyway, I was like, fine, put it on. I'm like catching bits of it as I'm doing whatever it was. I was like doing some craft stuff, mm-hmm. and I'm like watching. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I know one of the parts that I really, really remember is the part where Joe Magnanello walks into the gas station and starts dancing all over the gas station. That seems like a really weird place to start dancing. Well, yeah. I thought it was like they were telling him he needed to work on his thing or something or his routine. And he like goes in and he starts dancing for the fucking gas station attendant. And I'm like, what is going on? I'm like, what it's is going wildly on? wildly out of place. <laughs> so, and I love Joe Magnello, so sure. he, he caught my attention there. But other than that, I was... This movie is fucking stupid. I've right. never watched any of them and I have no desire to you know, watch them. I to tried to them. watch the first one because I, I kept hearing from like a lot of different people how funny it was, right? The- the second one was kind of funny. So but... I was like, yeah, I'll give it a shot. And my meter is like a half an hour. And if it's if I'm a half an hour in and I'm still not interested, yeah. usually I just turn it off. But I think I made well, it like 40 minutes. What kind of like, kills I'm, me I'm about done. the trailer for Magic Mike 3 is... Uh, so I did see the thing Channing... called Magic Mike Final Dance. Or yeah, something that's what it is. I've yeah, seen something the like that. for it. And like... The the movie has his love interest. Guess who his love interest is? Mm. Oh wait, is that uh, that dude from This Is the End? It's is not the, a are dude. they finally going to make it a sin- official? Remember he was the Gimp, Channing Tatum. Oh, oh. <laughs> gonna finally oh you're a... talking about Danny McBride? Yeah, I think at least something is Danny McBride. No, that'd be fucking funny. Though. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, it's uh, Selma Hayek, who's old enough to be his mom. That's what I was getting ready to say. I mean, yeah. like, not that she's not attractive, but hey, she's... there's nothing wrong with being older. Yeah, the cougar for they him. They definitely embrace that too. But like, there's this like whole dance number, and he's like carrying her around with her crotch in his face and stuff. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, it, it, no, dude, it's it's a movie about male strippers. It's it's yeah, but it's, it's fucking weird. No, what I'm saying is it's it's basically smut. It's smut, just like Fifty Shades of Grey. I love it because smut. Crystal's like, I was, I was like, why do you want to watch this? She goes, because it's funny. I'm like, no. 
<laughs> it's one of those movies about. It's one of those. I don't feel like you're being all the uh, way truthful. Not, I don't think you're being honest with me. <laughs> it's one of those. It's one of those movies about. It's one of those movies about women using their se- uh, having sexuality and stuff, and you know, it's like one of those movies where women are empowered. Who gives a crap? Stop pushing that crap in our face. Yeah, women are empowered. I know. He seems was, so disgusted by yeah. it. I was raised by all women. I know that women are empowerment, but I don't need to see it in every movie. Yeah, I like it when they put women as action heroes and stuff, too. But I don't need to see freaking them embracing strippers. Who gives a sh- crap? Hmm, strippers. I, okay, yeah. It's not good. Well, it's smut. Like I, I said, I guess. it's smut. If you want to get smut, technical, Joseph. he's not it's really a stripper. Smut. He's an exotic <laughs> dancer. It's smut. He doesn't get it's naked, smut. man. It's smut. No, Caligula is smut. It's smut. I've never watched Caligula. It's this smut. stuff is is PG. This is very PG. There's no nudity in these movies. It doesn't matter. It's smut. So. It's about strippers. It's smut. And don't say, oh, exotic dancer. The same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you must be a real joy at parties. <laughs> I'm gonna take you next. The strippers time are here. <laughs> oh God, damn it! I'm getting out of here. I need my Bible. I'm, ta- I'm taking, I'm taking Ducky to my bachelorette party whenever I get married. <laughs> Love you. Oh boy. All right. So there's also a trailer out for uh, John Wick Never Four. Strippers. <laughs> John John Wick Chapter Four. Yeah, oh, yeah. I a preview for that. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Out oh, and guess who's in it? I'm still marrying Bill Skarsgård. <laughs> Bill Skarsgård. Sure. Yeah, I've, I've seen that. I that. love him. You know, I, I think he's the main antagonist for the movie. Yeah, too. and did you hear him talk a little bit? Like I'm. Really he had, he dig- had some kind of accent. I was gonna yeah. say I'm really digging the accent. Like he's kind of nailing Russian it. Or? Yeah, he's kind of nailing it because it's it's almost like he was born and raised in wherever. Right, but uh, like he's, he's uh, Swedish. He's Norwegian, isn't he? No, no, no. I'm saying wherever he's pretty sure he's Swedish. Or wait, I couldn't quite catch the accent. But what I'm saying is, is like the way that he was portraying the accent in the movie oh. is like his character was born and raised wherever it was, but like he's been other places. Right. So it's not thick. I gotta. But I, gotta I can't you know remember. I, mean? I know. Yeah, I. I he's see Norwegian. It. Is I he Norwegian? See, yeah, I, Norwegian. The, you can tell with the last Skarsgård. Name. But with the, I, with the app with the the dot thing. Yeah, you know, yeah. actually, you, you guys said once that he was in a lot. His family's in a lot of movies. You know, mm-hmm. I looked up his family. After yeah, that, and his yeah. Movie, they're they're very star studded. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, but um, no, yeah, I starting the, with daddy. I seen the preview for it, and I was like, oh well, I gotta show this to Karen. Yeah, because uh-huh. I know that you like him. I love him. <laughs> and yeah, thing, his okay. brother Gustav is from uh, Vikings. Yeah. And I have to bring this up. I, we haven't talked about this yet, but since we watched Con Air, it reminded me. And since we're talking about Bill Skarsgård, I'm just going to go ahead and bring it up before I forget. So everybody is in love with Bill Skarsgård, like from the moment he was in um, uh, Hemlock Grove. Everybody thought, oh my God, he's so hot. He's so cute. He's so beautiful, right? I never really, like in Hemlock Grove, I didn't think he was good looking. I didn't and may- maybe it was because like I didn't like his character at first, but I did yeah, think Sweden, Swedish. It- oh yeah. So anyway, from I- st- they're from Stockholm. <laughs> yeah. So maybe it was because I didn't like his character at first, but I did like his acting, and you know. But uh, anyways, as time has gone on, I've really started to like really like him. So of course, then then comes the you know. Oh yeah, he is attractive, right? But I also think that he looks like a young. Steve Buscemi. Steve Buscemi I looks like... I don't know what... It's Alec. <laughs> I don't know what... Hi, young... Alec. Hi, Alec. He sent me this message. It's a gif of... of uh, in the prison where he says he's getting out. Oh, he's going... yeah. It was like the most excited that I saw. Look, like, it was the most Nick Cage I think I, thing I, in the whole movie. I was going to write something down about that because it seems so out of place. Like, it, they're it talking very about something out of very sad. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, they're whoa. talking about something so sad about this guy's never going to get out of jail, and then he's like, "I'm going home," <laughs> you know, like, oh, oh Jesus, like, Jesus. It's like <laughs> that's the most excited you see mm-hmm. him in the whole movie, too. But see, I find I find it weird because everybody thinks Bill Skarsgård is so attractive, and I always thought young Steve Buscemi was attractive, so it makes sense that I would think Bill Skarsgård is attractive because they look exactly the same. Because they look weird. They both look like he looks like the only difference between young Steve Buscemi and Bill Skarsgård is the mouth and the height. Well, I'm not talking about <laughs> I'm talking about their face, dude. You know what's really funny is when I was watching Connor and they had and they brought Grace Garland, was it? Is that who's Steve? Garland, Garland, uh, Garland Green. Garland yeah, Green. Garland Green. It was funny. They when the guy took off his mask, I kinda of just looked at him and went 
How can Steve you do- Buscemi plays a great psycho. <laughs> oh yeah, he does. <laughs> he does. He. Mm-hmm. I don't know how he does it, but still, he's he just, was still the best part of uh, Reservoir Dogs. He's for sure. He's just got he's that, the best part of whatever he's. I think Mr. Pink was the smartest one. <laughs> it wasn't stupid. I, I I think it's just the he has the look for a psychopath. Mm-hmm. And, <laughs> anyway, right. it just drives me nuts that that double standard exists. Like, oh, Steve Buscemi's ugly as shit, but oh. Bill Skarsgård's gorgeous. I've never seen <laughs> young Steve Buscemi, so... You did in Con Air. Was he young then? He was a little bit Youngish, younger, yeah. yeah. Wasn't bad looking. Here, I'll, I'll show you young... Uh, you for a psychopath, he's kind of hot. Well, for a psycho... I mean, psychopaths are hot anyway. Come on. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean... Never mind. I'll I mean, shut look. up. <laughs> Look no, it. I'm sorry, but uh, all right, tell uh, me. Does that player. not look like Bill Skarsgård? Yeah. He's, yeah. he's just got some big eyes. That's so tell cool. me how that double standards exists. Like, how can you say? Do Bill you Skarsgård get on and just Google I'm, all I'm these se- fucking people? You're always showing us pictures. Like, tell me this. No, I'm serious. Like, I can tell even as B- Steve Buscemi's older that he would have looked like that. I don't that. think he looks bad. I don't think he's. I bad I at all. like in Airheads. I thought he was good looking. You know, like I thought oh, Steve Buscemi the, was a good looking guy. You know? With that long, shaggy ass hair. I love long hair on a guy. Oh Shut up. God. A lot of girls like long hair on guys. It's weird. Yeah, well, we're, we don't fit that. we're just out of luck. Yeah, Joseph. we're out of luck, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right. I, 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 I broke the rules. I see that. That's why you shaved. I, I wasn't going to point it out. I didn't want to make you feel bad. No, it's okay. I couldn't get to it, dude. I, I couldn't deal with it, man. <laughs> I got a hat, and it was starting to wear. I put the hat on, and the, the, the stuff, it was getting too long. And I was just like, nah, man. I, I got it. I got to get rid of it. My mom even looked at me and she's like, she, she goes, yeah, I'm not surprised. She goes, I'm actually surprised that you did it at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, they're in talks of doing a new alien movie. They already mm-hmm. got a director on lock. Uh, same guy that directed the Evil Dead remake. How many alien movies are there now? Like oh, 30? Fuck. Um, see, there's one, two, and three. Then there's Resurrection. Then they did Covenant. Um, and then they did, uh, if you want to consider the... Do you uh, count Prometheus as an Prometheus? alien movie? I do. It's in the same universe. Is it? Well, okay. So, well, it's it's a prequel. Yeah, um, I know, but I So, yeah, know. I guess well, so there would be know. six. And then if you want to count the Alien vs. Predator movies. Yeah, you, I I don't count crossovers in either. I, I wouldn't either. So, so I don't, I just, it's not I, really I part count, of the continuity. Yeah, I, I count like crossovers as sort of just fun. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like for, Freddy versus Jason. Yeah, Freddy versus Jason is just fun for the fans. So is Alien versus Predator is just fun for the fans. I don't count them in either. Well, you know, yeah. With the with the Prometheus, I didn't know if it was like actually said. Oh no, this is an. Alien it is. Prequel. It's a pre- it's a prequel. Yeah, I didn't know yeah. if they officially said it was. Which honestly, a bit, people knock hard on that and Covenant, and I didn't think either of the movies were bad. I didn't think Prometheus people, was bad. I don't think I, they're bad. I don't think people I saw just Covenant. didn't. They didn't like them because they weren't direct Alien movies. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So, but they were fucking Ridley Scott movies, man. What do you want? I so. uh, didn't care for Prometheus, and it didn't have anything to do with like the lore thing. I just, I just didn't get into it. I could see why people couldn't. get Sure, into yeah, it. I, I could see that. I don't know. Um, I guess Alien's one of those things that you could go forever and ever and ever because it's fucking universal. I mean, and I mean that very literally in the universal. Well, sense, Ridley Scott's but... gonna have. He's still dealing with it too. This is. I mean, I don't know if he, I don't think he's he's not directing, sure, but he will be producing. So, at least a, yeah. he will be there for it. Yeah, I don't know. So. I guess like, as long as as long as people are still interested, they're going to keep doing it. So. Yeah, and I'm down for it. I love the Alien movies. I don't think I don't think I dislike. And honestly, well, I, I would say three or not three, but Resurrection was the worst do, one. Do you, do Which you, one was the one where she was like a robot or something? That was Resur- where she was a clone. Yeah, yeah, that was. Yeah, I didn't like that one. Do you yeah. like the Alien franchise more or the Predator franchise more? Oh, uh, I'd say Alien. I'm gonna go me. with Alien. Probably. I'd have to go with Predator. Well, I don't like Predator more because Alien has more solid films. Like, like literally, all their movies are good. Resurrection, even as bad as it was, it still wasn't terrible. Well, like it was still a good movie. Like, it just didn't like some of the CG was a little shoddy in it, and like, they should have stuck with the practical well, stuff. I just my, my, I didn't like how they the character development that. Yeah, I, I, I mean, felt like was, they, I felt like they took the characters in a direction that um, I felt like they were trying to redo, like trying to recapture the magic of the second movie. Yeah, I felt like they were they were um, it was just like a cheap shot. Yeah, it was it was a cheap action. It yeah. was a dumb action movie. My, uh, it was more action than it was horror. Well, yeah, you know, my friend Milo, he loves Predator, and 
I think Predator's cool too. Predator's well, I awesome. It, I love the yeah, Predator. Yeah, I, I just think it's because he's more, he's the way he's built compared to the. But when I was a kid and the Alien movies started coming out, I actually had Alien toys. So did I. Oh, yeah. like, I, think I, I still have Alien, alien toys. <laughs> yeah, I had, the, I had that yeah, one. I wish I would have kept them. Yeah, the one where like you had to press the back and the, the little mouth head. came yeah, out. Yeah, the mouth yeah. came out, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, see, I had one that you pushed the head in and then you hit a button on the back and it kind of, like, it was funny because I have oh. ones that I've never seen in the movies. <laughs> Except for, I, I, I Isn't had... that funny how our toys, like, they came out with toys that you never saw, like. <laughs> what in... is this from? Yeah. <laughs> but I do remember I did also have the, um, because when I was a kid, I never, I was scared of horror movies, so I never watched Aliens, but I still, have, yeah, I have the toys. I had the, I think I have the Queen, but I, I'm, no, I'm not sure for, I'm not, but I know for a fact I had the guy that came in the little suit that you put, and it was the Oh, excavator. the mecha suit. Yeah, the little that mecha was, suit. But that was um, Sigourney Wheat. Yeah, that was Ripley. Ripley. Yeah, yeah oh, it okay. wasn't well, a guy, I don't Ripley. Really, yeah, well, well, I mean, I, I, it would most likely be Ripley in that suit. Well, I, yeah. well, like I said, I was young, so I don't remember who the toy was, but but I do remember. They have a, they have a pop figure of that, and I keep seeing it. I, I don't know where I keep seeing it. I think you keep seeing it at, uh, at GameStop, and I keep wanting to buy it. I'm just like, oh, I you still go to GameStop? But it's like, but it's like one of the oversized ones, not mm-hmm. little, a little yeah. one. Well, like, I really yeah, want because they have like the big pop yeah. figures now. All right. So anyway, uh, that's that. And then I also, so I don't know if you guys keep up on any. I know you probably don't, Matt, but keep up on the superhero movies at all. No. Um, but everybody knows that like the DC EU, which is DC Universe, has had a lot of problems with continuity issues and <laughs> just trying to keep up with D or with uh, the MCU. Yeah. Well, James Gunn, who directs the Guardians of the Galaxy movies from the MCU and then also cross over and did the uh, Suicide Squad movie, mm-hmm. the new one. Uh, so they pretty much put his ass in charge of the DCEU yep. and, along with this Peter Saffron guy or whatever. Yeah. Um, so apparently they sat down and they're officially mapping out the next eight to ten years for the DCEU. Yeah. So they're they're actually coming up with a plan for, like, to for movies and this and that as one usually does and as, I feel like as they you, probably did that do the first time that's around what they didn't do before, <laughs> right. which is what you know the mcu did right that's why they're in phases right they map out these phases that's right. why they're coming I think up I've on even heard the phase MCU four or five now. i think right. i've even heard the mcu people say we're in phase they, they do yeah, they yeah. say yeah. phase four or phase yeah. five <laughs> and it's a whole it'll be like 15 films they've got lined up for yep. the next so many years or yep. whatever. And That's why they've been doing so well for the past. They know today what they're doing years. in you, like the next five years. Yeah, so. exactly. which isn't a bad idea to have a plan made. Oh, up absolutely for that. not. That's the point. And they're pumping them out too. That's you know, why they don't have. Con- yeah. That's why they don't have continuity. Well, Hollywood, yeah. Hollywood in general, has kind of just came on to. Like I don't watch any, but Hollywood. Well, that's, that's, well the sad that's part, the I difference is that they're the only ones making money, and yeah. the only reason that they're making money is because they're doing things like that. Yeah, they're they're making it to where they're making their movies into a fucking massive series. Mm-hmm. So you can go through and you can watch each one of these movies in order that they came out, and you know the entire storyline. You know what I mean? And I'm like, gonna say this, like you know, because I've been a comic book nerd my whole life. So like, if you do it right, their nerds will show up. Mm-hmm. And they'll keep putting their money at it. Yep. So if yeah, they keep making like they keep I said, making quality I think I comic said this, book movies. I think I said this they last show week up. or the week before. I said as long as they keep making Marvel movies, my stupid ass will keep watching them mm-hmm. because that's the kind of <laughs> I just I've invest I've seen every one of them up until now. Why would I stop watching them? Right. And there's been upwards of almost as 30 long films. as they you know as long as they don't. Piss off that crowd. Yeah, they will show up. They will spend the money, and yeah. they will continue to. And make hell, money. anymore they make it so easy because a month or two after it's released in theaters, they're putting it on Disney Plus. Yep, they made it even easier now. Yep. So, oh, you remember we talked about uh, uh, Quiet Place, and we were talking about that uh, guy or uh, John Krasinski. Yeah, he did hand it off. He's just a producer now. Uh, he was actually going to do that for the second film. Yeah. He didn't want to direct the second film. Okay. Um, but I guess something happened where he said, all right, I'll direct it. Because he wanted to step I back. Thought, I thought that you were you were saying the last time you didn't think he'd give it up or something. I, we were talking about it. but he, I didn't think he would, he, but I actually recently yeah, read some stuff Yeah, because I was going to say, like, I was uh, reading about it because they did they just cast the guy that's going to be, like, the main character. I don't remember that. John something. Are they bringing Cillian Murphy back? Because he was no, in the second movie. No, no. 
But because this is going to be like a prequel. Oh, that's right. I did see that. Yeah. Okay, I did see that. Um, so, I didn't mean to steal your thunder, but I just remembered no, that. No, uh, they, they, they cast the guy who played Eddie from Stranger Things. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. pretty sure that's yeah. what it is. Shit. I think it's A Quiet Place. Yeah, that's right. So It's like a prequel or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's called Day One or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. I uh, still have to see The Quiet Place movies. They're very Hold good. On, let, I'm let me find them. I've been told they're good. really good. It's just that I've never got... I don't know where they are to watch. I have them. I'll let you borrow them. Oh, just okay. remind, uh, me, yeah. remind me next week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stranger Things uh, star Joseph Quinn joins A Quiet Place. Which one, one was he? You said he played yeah. Eddie. He played oh. Eddie, Eddie, the Eddie. badass. Okay. The guy pl- that played Eddie. the Eddie! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it took me a minute to realize who Eddie was. No, yeah. I remember Eddie. Yeah, so... For shame. <sighs> I'm excited Sorry. for that, because I do like that dude, and yeah. I hope Eddie didn't die in Stranger Things. Just saying. They left he, it open to where he might not have. They, yeah, they they left it open <laughs> where he could come back. Of course some he didn't. Way, but he was he wasn't a massive fan favorite. Shut but up. dude, they gotta they gotta kill off some fucking characters, man. They just got too many goddamn people in this show. They do. They got a lot. Too of many people. fucking people now. Like it started out with like these four boys and then like these other three like high school kids. But see, see and that was it. See, now it's like fucking fifteen. But not characters Steve. And, Huh? Not Steve, Steve was though. supposed to die in the first season. Yeah, I wanted him to die in the first season, and then he came back in season two, and it's like at at all costs. He's a he fan must, favorite now. Well, though. at all costs, he must be saved. Yeah, he's a who, fan who, favorite. Who's Steve? I honestly thought hair. he was. Good. I honestly, yeah, hair. The <laughs> the hair. <laughs> yeah, he worked. Uh, he worked in the uh, ice cream. Oh, place. Steve. Okay, I, I see. That's I. I he's friends yeah, with Dustin. Yeah, yeah okay. I wanted. I wanted Steve. him to die in season one. Yeah, but I then didn't se- like him in season one. Yeah, he's all right though. He, he he definitely has like a huge. Well, he's the, he's the mother. He's the mother. He is. He's like the babysitter. Well, also yeah. season five is supposed to be the last season. Uh, Which was yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. But they're well, doing it too far. Season four originally was supposed to be the, the yeah. end, but then they, they should have just kind of ended it there. It would have been a perfect your end. Poor mouth. They do need <laughs> to end it. <laughs> they will. Uh, but I think that. Uh, but they're doing a two part. And for I'm gonna five. call it they're now. Doing two parts for five. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna call it now. Season five is gonna come out for Stranger Things, and then Netflix is gonna see a mass exodus of people unsubscribing. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, and then I I'm telling that. you, they're gonna. Go, you know, um. The one thing I have to say about season four, well, I got, I, I really like season four of Stranger Things, but I just got to say one thing. Best season so far. Yeah, that girl it was deserved really a skate to the head. <laughs> I'm not all. That's for what it. I thought. Too, <laughs> no, like she deserved. Like they a felt skate so. Bed. Everybody was like, "Oh my god, I can't believe she did that." Bitch, that bitch deserved it. I agree. I agree. <laughs> that bitch deserved it. I agree. I'm glad she did that shit. I agree. I will say though, I don't like that fucking actress. What's her face? Uh, um. Millie Bobby place. Brown? Yeah, Millie Bobby. I don't like her. Like, oh, as a really? person? As a person. Yeah, I, don't I get like it. Her. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't I, like that actress, she went out. Good, I, I don't like that she went out there and was like, oh, he's a lousy. Did you see that? She she went out there and said that uh, Finn Wolfhard's a lousy kisser. Uh-huh. Yeah, see, she shouldn't throw the, people. Exactly. Yeah. That's my thing. Like, don't go out there and tell people stuff. Like, don't tell the world that. Are you, you know, kidding? Well, I, I know the first couple of seasons, I heard that I heard that that cast gives her a hard time. But I think it's because of the way she acts. Yeah, you, you don't. No, she she don't say uh, things like that. If you've seen her now, she's become a little a cunt. Yeah, yeah, I know. But uh, no, uh, I've seen her in interviews, and she thinks she's the hottest shit. I think you know what I mean. Well, that's Finn that's Wolfhard what I'm saying. Like, you can't. Cool you though, should though. not go. Like, maybe he's a lousy kisser to you because you're getting you're on fucking camera. Right. You know, like also, he's not think, giving you his I, a game. Right. I'm come the fuck on. Also, maybe uh, he's not into you. He's not going to give you his egg. Maybe he thinks you're a bitch shit? too. <laughs> yeah, maybe but, uh, he's just not that. Maybe into you got you. some stank ass breath, or maybe you got <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe you got some fucking crusty cheese up on your own. You know, yeah, maybe you got chapped you know? lips and yeah. you're just trying to step back. I don't fucking know. He's, apparently, calm down. he's apparently a great actor because he got either oh, the role, him. the role in it, or the role in uh in Stranger Things. He got the role by sending on a videotape where he was actually sick. Yeah, doing the rehearsal. It's funny because he also he had so much pull. They asked him. He said, "Who would you want to play the adult version of you?" And he said, "Bill Hader." What they do? They got Bill Hader to play Bill the adult. Fucking Hader, Bill fucking yeah. Hader. I was like, dude, you nailed it, dude. And, I, I love Bill Hader. Oh though. yeah, I fucking love Bill. And Hader. he don't do too many serious roles either. You know what I mean? No, like, he it, don't. Which he still he was still the comic relief. Oh, in the for movie, sure. But, yeah. But I love Bill Hader. Dude. Oh, for like, sure. Like that fucker. Like I watch all of his SNL skits. Everything. I love that dude. He fucking <laughs> cracks me up. Especially oh, yeah. the one, uh, there was one episode of SNL where uh, he was supposed to be like this sports, <laughs> this like sports uh, uh, caster or whatever. Yeah. And he's in, I think The Rock was actually hosting. 
and it was it was him, The Rock, and another person, uh, and they were like doing this sports cast, and he they did, but he was an alien, so like he would freak out, and like fins would come out and shit. <laughs> Dude, it is a fucking funny. Like, I don't care what anybody says, dude. Like, no, they Bill said hitter is kind of funny. They were like, they were like, oh man. I think the, it's the delivery that he yeah. has. You know what oh I mean? yeah. Like, it's they're like the, the golden are... age of fucking SNL is dead. Like, no, dude. Like, There's it still they, has they potential. Have, they, it's like hit and miss, right? It like, is. they have certain. Like, I I thought the Chad episodes were hilarious, yeah. but you know what I mean? Like it. It just. Depends. I'm not gonna. The reason why people hate it that. is because they bring in a new. Just a lot of times they'll wipe out a whole cast. Bring in an all new cast. You just got to give that cast I a think chance. The reason they say it's not I funny, agree. well, is because SNL used to be every week was a good show. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. This it, week it's yeah, like now it's like hit, hit, or, miss. hit or miss, and yeah. also they're putting in a lot of that woke garbage. Yeah, but also you got to think about like, dude, they've been doing this for how many years? Mm-hmm. This show is like forty years old. It's Something almost like forty five years old. It started in the late seventies. Yeah, I think yeah. it's forty five years old. Something like that. And. uh because I remember watching the 40th anniversary show. And um, so you got to give the fucking, I mean, there's only so many ideas, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And look at how much, how many great comedians and actors that show has pumped out. Oh, but yeah. Also look at yeah, the for uh, sure. not, so great, the not even, so great actors. True. But out. also, but it's look, a lot out. of people got their start even just in the writing room. Not even, not even on stage. Mm-hmm. You got fucking uh, John Mulaney, Conan O'Brien, uh, Bo- Bob Odenkirk started yeah, out as a writer. Bob I don't like, think. I don't think Conan Bryan's funny. I, th- I think he's hilarious. I love Conan. Uh, but, like, there's a lot of people that just started out in the writer's room and went on to be big names. You know what I mean? So, and then they ship, they pump out some shit bags like Jimmy Fallon. And so, I'm just Fallon. saying. Oh, fuck him. I fuck fucking him so hate hard. Jimmy Fallon. I, he's, I like him more than Jimmy Kimmel, but because Jimmy Kimmel's yeah, a fuckbag. Yeah, I will agree with you there. But fuck Jimmy Kimmel, dude. Yeah. I cannot stand that fucking no. dude. For a guy that got his start on the man show. I wanna, I, dude, I, if I ever saw I him mean, in real life, I don't know if I could hold back. For I'd knocking his fucking dick. teeth out. I'd I just don't right like it, dude. You know, there's a lot of people that'll bring up his woke opinions and be like, you used to be on the man show. That's my point. Like, you, yeah. just, you got your start on the man show yeah. where literally before every commercial Girls break, on trampolines. Bouncing boobs. Yeah. I mean, come the fuck on. Girls on trampolines, dude. And yeah. then you were up at there at some award ceremony talking about how we need to respect women more. Bitch. Yes. <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> like, you motherfucker. Fuck you, Jimmy Kimmel. I don't Fuck fucking you, like Jimmy you, Kimmel. you fucking faggot. Yeah, a lot of the things that I've I seen that like talk you. about his no one opinions likes are like, dude, you and, used to start out. Well, what pisses me off is I, I've got a premium YouTube account. Well, I pay he, for, I, but they're always trying to pump that fucking Jim. I don't like Jimmy Kimmel. Stop <laughs> suggesting his shit to well, me. Well, and my <laughs> thing about it is, is like, he won't acknowledge it. You know, yeah, okay, right. if, you, if you want to be part of the woke crowd, your first step is to go, yes, I used to be one of the do- those douchebags. Mm-hmm. And I apologize to every woman in the world for doing that. But now, else, I, now I can be woke. But but everybody else has to apologize for a tweet from 10 years ago. Yeah. But he <laughs> won't acknowledge that he did that. You know, yeah. we can't talk about what he did. But, oh. From what I've seen with the woke crowd is they're really good at not, like accepting that they've done stuff that was wrong too. it is what it is man i'm so it's a double standard not it at this yeah point. yeah it's one, of the, um, it's one of the double standards let's move on what has everybody been watching matt what you've been watching buddy well i watched the watch the whole thing you watched the watch i watched the watcher well we're all victims now yeah. i did not like it <laughs> thanks a lot joseph you Sorry. started I it i did i i said it wasn't no, good you did, you did. <laughs> i stayed to see who it's like a train wreck. You just can't was, stop it, after yeah. a while. You're like, okay, I just. Well, I gotta, I gotta see how this all ends and like, who yeah, survives. That's really like <laughs> I wanted to see. I've gotten into this thing with, now with mystery. Like I really just want to like when mystery comes on, it's like I want to stick to it. Yeah. But, but yeah, like that one, like you said, just just left a lot of unanswered questions. It did it just? <laughs> how did you feel about the videotape and his wife and everybody freaking that, out? That was the worst. Him. part How, of how the did whole... you feel about that, that sir? Uh, can can we the talk guy, with the with the ghost? Yeah, no, it was a ghost. It wasn't it was really just... a ghost, but yeah, it was, yeah, it was stupid. Okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> just want to make sure just, we, uh, we all agree on that consensus. I, I've yeah, I've seen a couple parts where the wife got mad, and I was like, "You're retarded." <laughs> she's so well, mad, at, mad him at him for sleeping <laughs> yeah. he's asleep I just see, watch the I video see, you watch the video you watch the same thing as me right yeah like, i watched the same thing he as did, did right? not wake up he didn't look at her he didn't he's asleep like if he like if she jumped on his john and like started riding him and he woke up and was like into it then you can be mad <laughs> right, right. you know what i mean but right. in this instance like no he like, slept. He she was sat. She sat over, curled up in the fetal position on a chair in the corner of the bedroom while he slept. 
and you're hate you're hating on him for it. Right, right. And then, like that's not, not, not like they even they didn't even share the same breath. Like yeah. <laughs> next to pillows. Here. Yeah, like, I don't even think she was in the bed at any point. No, I'm pretty sure I've been closer to my dog than that. Yeah, I'm just saying. Like you, what? But also, the other thing that really kind of bugged me is once the black woman went, "Oh, it was me." I went, no, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that, I was that like, wasn't that's, that's, that's too neat. Yeah, <laughs> no, that makes too, too much <laughs> sense. Too, too, too much clean up there. Yep, <laughs> way yeah, too easy. That's too clean. Way too easy. No, yep. no, because it wasn't even that. She went, it's me, and I was like, no, no, it wasn't. <laughs> There's no, no way. It was not you. <laughs> it was <laughs> me. <laughs> She had a pretty good story, though. She did. I'll give her that. Uh, she I, I she really that. worked hard I've on it. I've seen gaps in where I, and I was still, I was like, no. It, Sad part is, is right after she died, the whole story was completely negated. Right, and you kind of uh, wanted, you kind of wanted to let her just have it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because, like, it was her dying wish. Just like, eh, just let her have it. Like, But the daughter was like, what? No. <laughs> no, that's not how I, shut up. Like, you dumbass. <laughs> Like everything's cleared up, it's all good. Yeah, you could have let them just have that. Yeah, like let them. That yeah, that was like your it, mom's dying yeah. wish. You could have let that man not lose his his fucking mind. Yeah, right like yeah. everybody. I don't wins. know why he was in the first place. But everybody okay. wins. Yeah, the only but, way he doesn't win yeah. is if you know somebody else moves in when and they she, die now. When she it, she didn't even take her telling the story. She got she goes it was me and I was like nah nah it yeah nah it wasn't it you was not you you're lying. There's no way it was you. Yeah <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was just I, I was not happy with that. And then I tried watching uh a little bit of Emma Watson not Emma Watson. Oh, it's oh god. Something Oh god, I forgot the guy's name now. It's played by Harry Cavill. Shakespeare. Not Shakespeare. Henry Cavill. Enola Holmes, Millie Bobby Enola Brown. Holmes. Yeah, as you say. I, I watched the first one, so I decided. I got you, you know that, but he didn't. Because as soon as he said Emma Watson, I'm thinking he's thinking of Millie Bobby no, he's, Brown. Well, he's I, I, didn't, yeah, I didn't put it together. I don't know why. I, I didn't put it together that, until he I, said. Uh, the Matt, I'm sorry. We Henry have Cavill. a we have a telekinetic yeah. connection. Okay. Well, apparently. I I watched the first one. and I thought it was decent. So I watched the second one because it's got a pretty Henry good Rotten Tomato score. Uh, Henry Cavill. So I was yeah, like, I know a big sexy man me. But then I got I was, love Henry well, Cavill, I, I, dude. He's I too th- pretty. I love. I think it. he's a good actor. And he's also the Witcher. I don't he's really I don't really judge actors on if they're good looking the or not. Though. True. Huh? I've been judging actors more on if I think they can act or not. He's a good actor. And there's some where I say, oh, they, they can act, but they can't to other people, but I think they're a good actor. But, um, no, I watched it because of him, and then I didn't even finish it because it was just so boring. Was it? Yeah. I didn't even watch the first one. I don't I'm know. not interested I'm not gonna watch in either, either one of them. them. Yeah. I'm, I'm just not, not, I'm not into, <laughs> Millie Bobby Brown's like, like I said, I don't like her as a person. No. So. I, I don't like her. She as a... was in the, um, Godzilla movies. And even then, I was like, "You're pointless to me." I don't like her as a. I don't like her as a person, but I. I don't mind her acting. I think she's a good actress. I don't think she's a bad actress. But um, I, I mean, I, I won't be on that. I won't be one of the people that sit here and say that I think she's a dumbass or anything. I just. I don't like where her career. I don't like her as a person and where she thinks her career is going. If she keeps that attitude up, she will not work in Hollywood. With her stuck up, I'm better than you attitude, because she's gonna piss I mean, off a lot of people. My yeah, like when she came out and said that about Finn, it was kind of like, and it's not the first instance that she's done something like that. You can't. I mean, I know that. Don't be wrong. I think she's gorgeous. I think she's a very pretty she's girl. She's Very pretty, but but, and I think that she's got a bright future ahead of her if she just keeps her fucking mouth shut. Well, don't it's, talk about people like yeah. That. Don't talk about people like they're less than you. But, exactly. Um, yeah. Exactly. Then, Last night I got stuck in um, a show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got. See, I told you. you, you... <laughs> I have that fucking fidget spinner you had. Right. I have an idea for you. I I'm got, about to buy it too. <laughs> I got stuck in a show on Hulu. It's Hulu made uh, Hardy Boys. I got sucked into the show Hardy Boys. I've never heard of this. It's two seasons, and I'm. I just started. I just uh, finished season one. Well, I haven't finished it yet. I have to finish uh, uh, episode ten, but I think it's the last season. And it just. It was one of those that had a good mystery, so it kept mm-hmm. me locked in like that. And it's just about like a secret society type thing that they're looking into. And yeah, it just kept me hooked because of the mystery. Hmm. I've like I said, I've realized I've I've gotten really into mysteries lately. <laughs> That's what Crystal's watching right now. 
Uh, That's what I said. That's exactly uh, what I said. What is that? Home Alone Three? Yeah, they made it's a the, third one. Yeah, oh, yeah, and it's terrible. I only watched. I said, "Ew, I'm only, sorry." I know. I've <laughs> only said seen what? Bit, I've only seen bits and pieces because, like, my brother watched it when he was little. It's, I see. It's terrible. I like, it doesn't have anybody. From no, it sucks. I seen one. I seen one that was like four or something, and I watched it, but I didn't. Don't really... do it, Crystal. Turn She's it already off. watching Run. it. Too late. I She's didn't like, accept. She it. probably likes the movie. No. <laughs> I didn't accept it as a Home Alone movie. Mm. Uh, I like didn't accept it as the same. Yeah, I mean, thing. it's in I Chicago. Like, That's about the only thing that it has in common. And at least had the kids home alone. Sure. All right. So, anyway, is that all you got, Matt? Uh, yeah, that is all I watched all week. All right, Karen, what'd you watch? Well, I realized that I didn't finish Reno like I thought I did, so I had to go back and finish that. <laughs> <laughs> so I finished the series that was on um, Roku. And uh, then I watched some Law and Order SVU. Don't ask. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. And uh, which one are they bringing back? Is it Law and Order? No. Or is it? Uh, they start. That's part of why I was watching Law something and Order. Evolution or something like that. It's not no. Law and Order. Criminal Minds. Criminal Minds. The, and and I kind of want to watch it. That's but... that's what I'm saying. Like I want to watch that one. So I'm f- trying to finish SVU. Is so Criminal Minds I... part of that? No, but it's Stabler, and I just kind of want to finish this so that I can yeah. go to okay. Stabler. I'm, I'm kind of upset with this, the new SV, I mean, the new uh, Criminal Minds, because I've watched all Criminal Minds like two or three times. And I'm glad that they're bringing Criminal back... Intent. Oh, okay. That's, I think that's what it's called. Criminal something. But anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm kind of upset that, that they're bringing back a lot of the good actors, but they're not bringing back my two, which are which my two favorite, which are Shamar Moore... And uh, yeah, the no, that's criminal. Played- that's Criminal Minds. That's what we're talking about. They're doing the Criminal Minds evolution. I'm talking about Law and Order. Yeah, but I'm talking about Criminal Minds. I'm talking about what I don't like about the new one. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Matt's like, "Fuck you." This is what we're talking about. Well, because Criminal Minds came up, but I don't like the fact that they don't have Shamar Moore and. Isn't that the guy you have a man crush for? Yes, yeah, like kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Again, good actor. Good looking dude. He's good looking dude. Uh, but very good looking dude. My favorite part. I've got you on speakerphone. <laughs> Behave. <laughs> what are you gonna do if I and, don't? <laughs> and then they, uh, I, uh, yeah. So I like, I like Shamar more. I'll, like it's not just a man crush. I, I like his acting. I think he's a good actor. Sure. But um, also they didn't. They're they're not bringing back Spencer. They're just bringing. They're bringing Penelope back, which is good. But they're not bringing back Spencer. And Spencer was one. Spencer Reed. He was one of my favorite ones too. <laughs> that's a that's a TikTok that you should check out. Hmm. It's uh Matthew Gray Goobler's. I've watched a couple, a little but bit it's of stuff. it's it's called Matthew Gray Goobler Chaos, and it's just him doing nuts so crazy shit, like, uh, and it's funny as fuck. I actually seen a video of him, and it was it was his house, and his house is like a big tree house. Is it? His house is really unique, hmm. uh, but yeah, I like I. It's hard for me though to go to him, and because I've seen the first time I seen him was Spencer, so it's hard to see see him. As that that reminds me of another person who's got a very unique house. Uh, you guys know who Sarah Underwood is? Mm-hmm. She was a playmate, mm-hmm. and she was also on. Uh, she was actually playmate of the year, and then she was also a host on. Um, uh, whatever G four was still out, because so I used to watch the fuck out of G four, um, like. Uh, but that's her, the only reason I know who she is. G four, yeah, um, beautiful, beautiful woman. Uh, but she's she's got her and her husband now. I guess her husband's a big nerd too. He's got like he's like his well, or her husband's dad is like a well known architect and shit. But anyway, so they have this house out in the fucking middle of nowhere, and it's just I mean it is gorgeous. It's made completely out of wood. It's got all kinds of. Sh- I mean, look it up sometimes. Sometimes if you get time, look up her TikTok, mm-hmm. and it, she that's all she posts is about them living in this house and all that stuff and all that. I don't know what the hell she's doing anymore, but whatever. Yeah. Anyway, I just thought cool houses cuz her their house is badass. Like it's 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 awesome. Top yeah. in the middle of the woods and shit. But that Matthew Gray Goobler one like that chaos thing. There's one where like this kid walks up, like walks on a set, like and comes up and starts talking to him and he's like who fucking sent you? Like, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? You know, and he's like talking. To, it's probably like a twelve year old kid or whatever. And you know, he's like, he's like, are, they, are, are you here to replace me? Is he here to replace me? And like, he just goes on this whole tangent. <laughs> it's hilarious. Reminds me of that short video with Will Ferrell, 
where he's talking to his daughter, and his daughter's uh, oh playing Pearl, Pearl, <laughs> yeah. and she's the landlord, <laughs> and she's like, "I want my money now, bitch." Yeah, I want my money now, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and Pearl, I guess the little girl. You don't daughter. talk to me like that. I'm a grown man. <laughs> <laughs> That's just funny. It is funny. If you've never seen that, Matt, look it up. I it have funny. seen it, and I don't find Will Ferrell funny. But she, the he's only... not the funny part. She is. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> Can I have four beers? Can I have four beers? <laughs> you have a problem, Pearl. <laughs> yeah. I've seen it. And the last thing we watched was uh, Bridesmaids. Jeremiah had never seen it. And it's I not rem- a bad movie. I remembered it being hilarious. It was a hangover essential knockoff, pretty much. Dude, there was It was one like part, a hangover for women. There was one part that made me laugh, like, really hard, and I think it was just kind of, I didn't remember it, and it was... Um, uh, Clementine from Reno. Yeah. And she was like talking about how she's a boy mom, you know, and all she has is boys. And she was talking about, you know, doing laundry. She's like, I picked up a blanket. Or she's like, there's just semen everywhere. I picked up a blanket and it cracked in half. (laughs) (laughs) There's semen everywhere. I laughed so hard. I mean, that was just hilarious to me, but that's all we watched this week, really. Just wait. You're going to live through that. Mm, I got a 16 year old now. I'm good. I, I don't touch his things. Cum bl- oh, I don't, don't touch, touch his things. things. Nope. Did you almost say cum blanket? Yeah. I was just gonna find no, cum I'm pretty sure that he's smarter than that. Sock? No, I'm pretty sure he's smarter than that. I'm sure he uses tissues or something that can just be thrown away. Plastic bag. What? <laughs> you jerk off into a plastic bag. Have not... you done that before? No, I'm just saying. I was thinking you could do that, though. <laughs> Why? You know how noisy that would be? That's what I was thinking. Like, don't you want to be? <laughs> that would be so wow. fucking noisy, dude. Like, <laughs> I'd, I'd be like, I've got to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be... It's always like quiet at night and all you hear is... <laughs> <laughs> what's going what is he doing is he cleaning his room <laughs> like, it would be that instance from scary movie <laughs> so you're not the, so you're not the body body. when I'm cleaning my room that's exactly what I was thinking about <laughs> so you're not the body when I clean my room <laughs> no I've never <laughs> masturbated into a plastic bag I was thinking it's something you could do though no I set it on the floor leave it open <laughs> what the fuck I have never had any issues and I'm pretty sure I won't so <laughs> All righty. Uh, so is that that all part you... just made me laugh? That's all I'm saying. Yeah, that's all we watched. Is that this all you week? watched? Yep. Okay. Well, uh, uh, what did I watch this week? Um, I watched another episode of Midnight Club. We're slowly making our way through that show. Um, Why do you watch single episodes of stuff? I just I can't help it, man. Like <laughs> sometimes multiple shows will come out in the same time period, and I have trouble trying to keep up with them all especially if i get busy doing stuff what i do is i just pick a show and stick with it i would (laughs) but sometimes you're not always in the mood to just watch that you might be in the mood to watch something different i get that because like sometimes i might have like two or three shows that are different genres exactly and maybe i want a different genre that night or whatever right so so i've got that and i've got other shows that i haven't even finished yet Uh, we started that fucking paper girls show months ago and i still haven't finished that um, just you know, a bunch of stuff, you know, but, uh, but obviously I've been watching It's Always Sunny every day. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking, I can't get enough of that show, man. Mm-hmm. They are the most terrible fucking people and yep. I love it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're mm-hmm. fucking hair- horrible people. They are, they are awful. Like each awful, episode, awful I'm like, there's no way they can get any worse than this. And then they do. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but anyway, and you got how many more seasons to go? Right. Like 12? Yeah. There's like yeah. 12. Uh, yeah. Like 12 more seasons. I'm like, mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Um, but we, uh, we also watched that new movie, uh, that new horror movie, Smile. Oh, yeah. I did not I heard like it. wasn't it. that good. I didn't like it. It got great ratings I mean, and that's reviews. That's what I'm saying. Like, and... I, I keep hearing bad things. But I didn't like it. I thought it was predictable. I predicted a few, quite a few parts. I even predicted the end. Yeah. Um, and it just wasn't scary. It had great marketing, though. It did. Um, they had a couple of parts. I was like, okay, I could see that part being scary to some people, but not me. You know? Like, yeah. And it's just, I couldn't get into it. I thought the lead girl in it did a fan. I think that's actually Kevin Bacon's daughter. Is it? Yeah. Um, Kevin Bacon and What's-Her-Face's daughter. His um, cousin? Yeah, his cousin. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, I thought she was great. She did a great job. She was awesome. And it also had uh, Jesse T. Usher in it. He was in The Boys. He plays A-Train. Oh, yeah. So um, he was in it. Um, it was all right. I mean, I would I would give it 
if I had to rate it, I guess maybe a five. I'd give it a five. So like a fifty percent. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, it was okay. I meh. would say. Yeah, meh. Meh. Um, and then uh, I uh, I bought. I actually went out and bought a movie this week. Other than Con Air, uh, I bought uh, Bullet Train with uh, that new one with uh, oh, fuck um, Brad Pitt and a whole bunch of other people. Yeah, it sounds on really the train, familiar, but I'm not. It's the action it. flick on the train. Uh, I wouldn't have thought with the name Bullet Train. <laughs> <laughs> well, it takes place in uh, in Japan, but uh, um, it's got like, like snakes on a plane. It's got uh, who, who knew it was going to be on a plane? <laughs> it's got well, Brad snakes. Pitt's the biggest name in the movie, and then it's got um, the dude from uh, Kick Ass. I don't know his fucking. I can't. I can never remember his name. Um, and then it's got uh, some other people. I can't remember their names. Yeah, bunch it's people, a good, it's there's a good, bunch of people on a train. Bunch of people on a train. A uh, bunch of some were assassins and shit like that. But uh, um, it's just a fun fucking movie. Kind of well, like, I mean, uh, like that one that Brad Pitt's in, where uh, the Mexican. The Mexican, oh, yeah, I love kinda, that, that movie. movie. Yeah, he's kind of got that same kind of attitude in this one, where he's kind of like, but he's more of a badass. So like, he can hold his own and fight and shit. He doesn't even have a gun on this train. But he's like, but he's also like very. So he's the main character. He's the main character, yes. <coughs> and he can hold the movie. Oh, for sure, yeah, hmm. yeah. Okay. It's a, it's a great fuck. Honestly, okay. if you haven't seen, it, if you you're in a mood for an action, a very colorful one too, action flick. Yeah, this is it. it was, I had a blast watching it. Crystal fell asleep because she was tired. You know but that one? I, weekend, I loved it. I that thought it was one a great weekend movie. when I stayed at your house, I watched a movie. And it was a Jap- It was a Japanese a movie about a Japanese guy. And that movie was just crazy. The guy, like, in the first part of the movie, he's just naked. And he's fighting other naked people. <laughs> it's called Carter or something like that. Carter? Yeah, I'll have to, I'll, have to, I'll look for it and see if I can find out what it is and tell you. Just a bunch of it. naked Asian dudes. <laughs> yeah, what just, kind of movies you got you, in your what, house? I, was well, this at my no, house? At the, it was the one that I owned? No. Oh. It was, it was, uh, but, uh, I, I don't own I, any Asian porn, I dude. Was like... like uh, I was like, no, I was like, I was like, that's movie Carter. Okay, so I, I like it because it looked, it looked like it was action. So I watched it, and um, no, it's like he wakes up in this like covered in blood, and he's and he ends up having to go to like the spa. Like he jumps to get away from these people, and he goes into the spa. Well, the spa is like yakuza gang members, and they're all in like. Are you finding it? I'm seeing one from 2022. That might be it. How new is it? Uh, it's 2022. It, uh, it's... it is a Korean film. Let yeah. me see it. I'm working. Hold but on. the guy has like a tattoo. It on Net- it's on Netflix. Yeah, that might be it. But like the guy has like a tattoo where it looks like it's kind of like stra- A man mark. wakes up missing his memories. That directed sounds... by a mysterious voice from a device in his ear. Yep. That's it. it. Sets <laughs> off on a hostage rescue mission rife with ang- with danger. Let me see the uh, cover. Hold on. Yeah, that's what it is. It's I can't click on that one because it won't let me. But I watched it and it was just crazy. Like there was a lot of parts where like. Oh, just... uh, I think I remember seeing advertisement for this. Okay. Well, just rem- remember, you're gonna see a lot of Asian dong. Apparently, you actually. I mean, not you don't actually. You don't see like... any dick. You do, but a lot oh, of them... Oh, well, fuck, you got my interest, a lot of them, a, a, lot of them, a lot of them are wearing, like, the like the little underwear-looking thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because it's a... It's yeah. a and then there are a part where you can tell they're kind of on drugs. There's this part where you, you, you see boobs, you might like that. I'm more interested he, in the dong, dude. He was really peaked at the dong. Yeah, yeah. dong's but, got me but, captivated. Yeah, like, I, I watched it, and it... <laughs> I liked the action scenes. It was pretty good. But at the end, I was like, well, that was kind of weird. There was a lot of weird parts in it right. where it was kind of like, Whoa, okay. Oh, okay. Like, but it was a good movie. All right, that's cool. Uh, so anyway, um, let's. I think we need to move forward here. We're I don't, almost I don't an hour deep brought already. That up. Um, so, yeah, if you get the chance, check out Bullet Train. It's a good flick. I liked it. It was fun. Will do. Um, all right, so let's move on into our movie. This week we are reviewing fucking... Goddamn peak Nick Cage, man. Like Nick Cage. Uh, Con Air, is, baby. Con Air. One the, it's one of the best Nick Cage movies in my mind. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Con Air is from 1997, rated R. At an hour 55 minutes, stars Nick Cage, John Cusack, John Malkovich, Ving Rames, Dave Chappelle. I forgot he was in this fucking movie until I saw his face. I was like, holy shit, I forgot Pinball? Dave Chappelle. Pinball? You forgot about Pinball? Yeah. <laughs> 
directed Steve by Buscemi. directed by oh yeah Steve Buscemi um directed by uh, I I could go on all day with the list of I don't really care for Dave yeah. Chappelle um but uh directed by Simon, Simon West so you got a plot synops synopsis yep synopsis when the government puts all its rotten criminal eggs in one airborne basket, it's asking for trouble. Before you can say pass the barf bag, the crooks control the plane, led by creepy Cyrus the Virus Grissom, watching as every move is the just-released Cameron Poe, who'd rather reunite with his family. Get tired of all these cons. <laughs> well, this is MF plane. <laughs> all right. So. Oh, boy. This movie, uh... I don't know about you guys, but I grew up on this movie. This came out in 97, which is like... I don't think I actually watched this movie a whole hell of a lot. This is probably maybe my fourth view. Well, this is like one of the last great action movies before you get into the 2000s where they started to suck. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, like where there, there were still, like, some good ones in the I'm 2000s. I'm sure, but like I mean... this this is one of, like, one of the last ones that had good little one-liners and... And shit this, like that quotable one liners that you still this, say today, like eh. like put the bunny rabbit back in the box. <laughs> like this Why didn't you just put the bunny rabbit back in the box? <laughs> this is the one this is the first movie I ever seen with John Malkovich in it. Maybe I gotta say this is the first one that really put him on my radar. Yeah. So I mean, like I said, I was fucking mm. I was Don't, young whenever this came out. So like the second one after that was uh being John Malkovich. That's what I found yeah. out with John Malkovich. Um, I never watched that movie, but so I got a few gripes about the movie, but I mean, obviously it's an action movie. I just want a very, say, very. Uh, yeah, the first the first gripe for me was just how out of nowhere, like they're talking about how sad it is, you know, that like what's his face is probably like never gonna get out, and then he's like, I'm going home, you I'm know, going like, home, like out of they nowhere. Said he only got seven years. No, he's no. They, he got seven years uh, with the possibility. No, he got seven to ten with the possibility. Mm-hmm. Or, Ten years with the possibility of parole in seven. No, I'm talking about uh, Bubba. Yeah, whenever they're in the Bubba's prison Bubba's talking cell, about how he's probably never going to get out of prison. And Cameron and him are sitting there in the prison cell, and he's like, yeah, I'm probably never going to get out, or it's going to be like another 20 years before he's I like, get out. He's like, you will, man. And he's like, you'll, you'll make it, you'll make it. And they're, they're and having like, like this very sad face. moment, and then he's like, I'm going home! And he's, he's like, I'm going home! Excited. It's like... Like, all right, rub it in his goddamn face, you prick. Yeah. I, I, I didn't see that. No, my now. biggest my big thing was, like, what kind of a fucking prick in a bar hits on a man's woman in uniform? Right, right. A man in uniform. Ranger. Yeah, Ranger. Ranger. Who yeah. fucks with that so guy? I right. walked up to the guy he just got and home. Like Ranger and been like, oh, no. You, he just got right. home. <laughs> yeah, he just got home. You going to go up and fuck with that guy right. and his old right. lady? Like, right. pregnant old lady? Right. You're stupid. The only reason, You're asking to get your ass beat. The right. only reason you need to go into a freshly... Brought home and uniform ranger is to say thanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then walk the fuck away and be glad you didn't rip your fucking that, spine out of your asshole. The only thing that threw me off about the ranger uh, persona, the, that whole thing, his hair was just too long. There's yeah, no, yeah, there's yeah, yeah. no way. He would. They, well, they, well not only would they not let him do that, but he wouldn't want to do that. Because mm-hmm. if exactly. he was a fucking ranger and like, if he and he, because obviously he looked like a pretty good soldier to me. Sure. Like he would have been all into it, and he would have had a buzz cut it, at the very least. Absolutely. There's so, no way that his hair was way too yeah. long. Um, it just threw me off a little bit. I guess. It did. Yeah. I understand. I, I would, like he he come off that boat or whatever. It was kind of like one of the things. Like, all right, Nick, you're gonna have to cut your hair. No, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Like he come <laughs> off that boat, and I guess it's because you know I. My ex-husband was in the military. I was around a bunch of military guys. I know what they look like. Yeah. He stepped off that boat, and I'm like, no. Nope. Mm-mm. Nope. <laughs> I thought his hair was a little bit long, but I didn't know how short the Marines keep it. But uh, I, I I just want to say before we break this, I watch a lot of prison documentaries. So, like, a lot of the stuff I'm going to use stuff is stuff that I know doesn't fly in prisons and stuff like that. Like, uh, and the scene where he's showing his wall... Yeah. And the prison scene, there's packs of matches on there. That's a no-no. In prison, he would not have those packs of matches, and they would not just be on his wall. That's uh, is that a new thing, though? Because I know contraband has changed. It has changed. Because I know that you're allowed to... My brother... I mean, my brother's been to prison multiple times, and... He is able. He was always able to smoke in prison. Mm-hmm. Obviously, oh, you got to right. have a way to light it. Okay, cause but I, the thing is, if if Cyrus the Virus being who he was... Would have been in a maximum security prison. He would not have had. Oh matches. no! This was this was. I was talking about Poe. He had 
Paxil matches on his wall. Oh yeah, they would. He would have been fine. Yeah. I think he yeah, would. Yeah, okay. Fine. Well, because like uh, he's probably minimum security, man. Yeah, that's okay, what I'm well, saying. Like, well, I think it depends still. on what you're, you're, <laughs> what you're in there for, where, where you're. Okay. Well, housed. yeah. This is this is what I'm talking about from what I've seen. So I don't know, of it, but yeah, from what I've always seen, you were not allowed to have matches. If you, you were a lot of the prison documentaries I've seen, you're not allowed to smoke. Yeah, my brother was always a, and, they had, smoke. and they, what they did was they would make lighters out of batteries and aluminum foil. Yeah, my brother was always allowed to smoke because one thing that he always called home for was um, he would ask for money so he could buy cigarettes. Mm-hmm. So that was one of the okay, things. That must be yeah. Then, and then, I think it depends on your level. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, and then also, I just want to say, on the plane, they would have used metal detectors. You would think. Yeah, they would. Um, I didn't detectors. understand why that dipshit gave that gave. I don't care if he's an officer or not. Gave him a gun. Like, what part of your brain thought that was a good fucking idea? I think I wrote that, too. I um, did. I, I wrote it down. I said, I said, even, I don't even know why it was an argument to begin with. Like, why would you put a gun on an airplane full of convicts? Not to mention, you just put it in his goddamn sock? Well, see, that's also... Yeah, what, and, <sighs> you know, the other thing is, like, you know, how did they not notice, like, that undercover, like, guy wasn't on the bus? Like, everybody else was on the bus. Well, he might have been a special transport, because... He came on last, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I guess, You know maybe. what else I was thinking, though, is I don't think that that plan would have worked. With the convicts and stuff, that is too many. You cannot get that many alphas to work together. That is true. Else. And also, <laughs> there are a lot of, like, little holes in their but plot if you that, noticed, that any part of it could have went wrong. Yeah. But, but to be fair, their plan did kind of fall apart because there was too many alphas. That's yeah. true, yeah. Yeah, but that that was my big thing is that there were there were so many alphas, you wouldn't be able to get that group to work like that they would that they would not have accepted cyrus as that big black guy who was the militant wouldn't have been oh i can play house no he oh have i bet like i bet he could if it meant that he was going to get out well, and he it, could he could do it longer they yeah. were this wasn't like you know the movie went on for what two hours right yeah, this two right? hour movie yeah so for them that's what half a day yeah you know if he's got to he work with a bunch of white boys day, yeah if he's got to work with a bunch of white boys for half a day to yeah for he, freedom and he's, he's, he's gonna, gonna get out it. and he thinks this is gonna work out you know <laughs> they they started to fall apart when you know the plan started to go in the wrong direction when that guy you know fucked them out of their plane and you yeah. know things were starting to go south because the plan wasn't working the way it was supposed to that's when all of their alpha started to show and everybody started arguing. I do want to call one thing out, though. Whenever they were raiding Cyrus the Virus's cell, they found the anarchist cookbook. Yeah. I said, I said, how fucking immature is this guy? No. Like, he's as smart as he is, but he needs the anarchist cookbook? Also, there's... Uh, I mean, the... they, you know, 90s... That was, I know that was big thing back yeah, then, you so... know. But I just thought it was so fucking cheesy. I'm like, really? But the also, anarchist cookbook? The, okay, also, the, the, the part that I seen there that was a problem is... When mail goes through prisons, it is checked. He would have not been able to get any of that stuff. Uh, the anarchist cookbook? How? Uh, he had also <laughs> somebody had smuggling cookbook. it up their butt. No, page by page. <laughs> yeah, page by page, <laughs> was, including the cover. There is, there is no <laughs> Don't way. Don't be printing that out in the library. <laughs> there is the, the only way I I start. I said that he wouldn't be able to get any of that stuff. Then the only way I was starting thinking, well, okay, he might be able to get that stuff, but he's got a prison guard sinking, sneaking it in. And there. that's possible too. Yeah. 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 And then I started to think that, but that, that's why, cause I wrote that down and I was like, thinking, well, no, he could, if he had prison guards sinking, sneaking it in. Right. Because a prison yeah, guard can yeah. easily sneak in. You can, something, you, you can buy a prison in. guard. Yeah. 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 No, this, you know, the thing that, uh, kind of struck me too and i didn't really think about this maybe the first few times i watched this but um and this wasn't the first movie that i'd seen john malkovich in but like most of the roles that i've ever seen him in, he's always like this really smart you know intelligent yeah. kind of well, you know. I, I haven't seen a lot of john so, malkovich too but yeah and i mean yeah i, I, remember, guess, I, guess... I remember him in uh burn after reading <laughs> he's so fucking funny in that one him Red. him George Clooney and Brad Pitt were the best parts. Oh, of that movie. absolutely! I love that movie. Yeah, the, the most recent movie I remember seeing him in is Red. Mm. Red, Red, yeah. Red. He, uh, John Malkovich is doing a lot of like straight to DVD type shit anymore. Mm-hmm. Kind of like what Bruce Willis kind of got into. Well, and... dude, come on, think about it. If you've been an actor for that long, there's going to be a point where you hit your career. You, you do. Like, you no, hit your what? career I'm peak, gonna, and I'm you're just going to do what I want. Yeah. Like, well, no, not want, really that. They're just taking pay, paychecks. Yeah. Like. You gotta understand, dude. Like Bruce Willis, this is an instance with Bruce Willis too. He's taking these movie roles where, like, they're like five minutes, like two or three minutes of screen time, but they're putting his face right on the cover of, the, of it. But he's getting his massive paycheck because 
he know they know that his face will sell. Well, copies. his health is declining. As well, well, now so he's trying thing. to but cash that, out. Yeah. There, there's also yeah, you know, a lot of those actors who have damaged their bodies, they're going to be like, you know, I'm 50 now and I can't jump. 10 feet. That's what's know, happening. Uh, like Bruce Willis. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I was going to say, but John, John Malkovich has never been a physical actor. No. Anyway, he's been more of a, he's more of a classically trained. No, actor. Right. Like, like the, the, yeah, the action actors, I can understand how they get paid a lot because they damage their bodies. Mm-hmm. Just like wrestlers. Like everybody's like, Oh, wrestling's fake. Yeah. Wrestling may be fake, but those people, those guys still screw they up. They still bodies. go. And I, I remember, <laughs> uh, Bill Maher said this too. Bill Maher was interviewing a bunch of WWE wrestlers and, um, he said that. He said, yeah, but it's fake, right? Dude, that pissed Roddy Roddy Piper right the oh, fuck off. Oh, for sure. He jumped out. He goes, fake. He goes, he, sh- he pulled down his pants and showed him a big-ass bruise on the side of his leg. He goes, that look fucking fake to you? Mm-hmm. Does that look fake to you? No. He said, we put our bodies through hell, man. And he's like, going the fuck off on Bill Maher. And Bill Maher's like, please just don't hurt me. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Because yeah. me. a lot of people say it's fake, and they figure it's just straight up fake. No, there is hitting and stuff. Mm-hmm. There, yeah. there is. The- and also, when a guy jumps off of a 10 foot ladder onto a padded ground. And that pad's the only thing he's going to hurt him. It's going to hurt. Yeah. You just got to know how to properly. Yeah. Land. And yeah. that's what it is. Like they, the, the, the things bounce and stuff, but you got to realize these guys are still putting their bodies. Oh yeah. Crap. It still hurts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, like, no, what I was going to say is that like, you know, he always played sort of like a high society. Yeah. Kind right, of right. Smart guy. Yeah. So it, but I like when they kind of step outside. I, you know, not that this was a huge step don't outside get me wrong. for him. This is my favorite John Malkovich role, mm-hmm. hands down. Like, yeah, like he. I love him as a bad guy. He's, yeah, he's so I, fucking good at. Yeah. it. I remember watching it once and asking Cy afterwards if his name was Cyrus. <laughs> I went. I walked up to him like next to the school. I was like, Cy. He was. He's like, yeah. I was like, is your name Cyrus or is it actually just Cy? And he goes, it's just Cy. <laughs> it just, it kind of. Because we like, would have been calling him Cyrus the Virus. <laughs> yeah. It's not that like he stepped too far out of his comfort comfort zone, but I guess it was just enough for me to go, hmm, okay. I mean, it's kind of nice that you didn't keep right. always playing the, I'm smart and rich. Yeah. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? Yeah. Um. So Danny Trejo's in this as Johnny Twenty Three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he said. Johnny I, 600, I, if they knew yeah, the Johnny Six Hundred. If they knew the truth, <laughs> yeah. So, um, one thing I did, like, I'm like, I love Danny Trejo. I love you know, him. I He's dated, a badass. I dated a girl that Danny Trejo came to her school and did like a speaking thing. It was funny though because she said he was supposed to talk about the dangers of drugs, and he just ended up talking about time in prison. <laughs> Well, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the dangers of drugs. You go to prison. You go to prison. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I liked him in the movie. I don't. I think he should have got more play. He should have got more time because, I mean, I know back then he wasn't as big of a name right. as he is now. Right. But dude, Chan- Danny Trejo is a shit. You I know, fucking love him. Kind of going back to that though, like I, I think that you know, convicts and their morals are weird. They're so weird. It is weird. Yeah. Like you know, they don't like rape. They don't like you know this thing. But they'll murder a guy. Yeah. Like, it's just, yeah. it's, and I'm not saying that that's wrong necessarily, but it's but also it's like, yeah. weird. Yeah. You but know? Like, well, yeah, because you like to remember, you guys remember Scott Peterson, Because, like, you know, right? they don't necessarily respect women. You know what I mean? Like, they'll yeah. beat the shit they'll beat out the of They'll beat the fuck a, out yeah, of a woman. Yeah, they're, they're okay with women abusers, yeah. but, not, but not rapists. Right. Yeah, like, like, which so, I don't understand. I'm right. like, but he could have so, killed... So he could kill his he wife. He could kill his wife. But he can't force himself on right. her. Right. Like, I'm just, I'm just like having she, a hard she'll time. She'll be okay if she's raped. She's going to go on through life. Yeah, she's going she's gonna to feel it every moment, but right. she's not dead. Right. And I, and, and I just, I, I again, I'm not saying rape is okay, obviously. No, no definitely not. We're but not I, saying I, that. Hold no. on. Disclaimer. Rape yeah. is not good. Yeah. Remember, a woman brought this up. <laughs> yeah. But I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is it's, it's such a convoluted moral compass I yeah. guess it is. It's very weird. Like because even do... my brother, my brother who's been to prison multiple times, mm-hmm. sits. He will tell you. He goes. Uh, he, he goes. There are two people in prison that won't tell you what they did wrong. Child molesters. Child molesters mm-hmm. and rapers. Mm-hmm. And oh, rapists. Rapists, too. Mm-hmm. rapists and child molesters. Yeah. He yeah. said, once you find out what they've done, they've already got a. They got a target. Didn't on you them. Tell Absolutely. Me, didn't you? I think you told me that one time Jason was in a cell. With yeah, he was in. A, he, he had to and share he told the guy. You have to get out of here. Yeah, he he essentially what he said was uh he had spent I think almost a year in the same cell as a, a rapist or a child molester. Sorry, hmm. a child molester and didn't know it. But once he found out, he automatically said, "Get the fuck out of my cell." 
I was like, your guys' morals are fucking everywhere. Like, Didn't you say he ended up beating the shit out of the guy? Somebody. And I don't know if he did, but somebody did. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, like, because, uh, you know, you guys remember Scott Peterson? Killed his wife. Went, it was big trial. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wife. Lacey. Yeah, Lacey yeah, was his wife. He was on a hit list before he even got to prison. Because oh, he sure killed he was. his unborn kid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, and then, like, okay, so we talked about Chappelle, too. It kills me that his very first line in this movie is, I'm a nice guy, I just got caught. And then he fucking lights a dude on fire. <laughs> like, that doesn't seem very nice I don't nice care, to dude. Me. Dave Chappelle, you could tell they were like, they, they brought him in and let him say whatever he wanted. They did. Like, because like, there's no way that he they, he came in and they wrote his lines for him. They're like, what would you say in this instance? They, they let him, they, they definitely did. let him, okay. They yeah, did. because there's no way, because dude, I love Dave Chappelle. I'm sorry. Care. I'm not a big fan of Dave Chappelle. I love Dave. But oh, I love Dave. Chappelle. I like him. I fucking love Dave. Love the guy. But he's. Had, I'm glad for his renaissance, man. I'm glad he came back. Oh, he, me too. Yeah, 100. Uh, yeah. I, I like love the, his his like unwokeness. The, his unwokeness. Yeah. yeah. Like but he still. Uh, but he still like defends them at the same time. Yeah, like he, I like he, that. He, he's that. He's I, I that. I like the fact that he's he that is, middle ground that I love about exactly. Yeah. Well, he, there's no double standard, right? Exactly. He's got his his view his views of it. There's no. You do what you want. Yes. And I'll stand over here, and, and as long as you don't fuck I'll with me, I, I'll support you, but don't fuck with me. Right. You know what I mean? That's how he is, and I'm like, I'm okay one, with that. One of the things you do that, you, I do me. Exactly. Also, And there, no no quarrel. There mm-hmm. is one thing in this movie that really got me, is when they're talking about the guy, the guy goes, we don't have plans for this. We don't have plan for, like, convicts taking over plan. That would be the first thing you would plan <laughs> you for. You would think. You would think <laughs> especially when you have a, a plane <laughs> specifically for convicts called Jailbird. We, I mean, we, uh, we know, yeah. we know <laughs> what the plan, plan is for this. For. Isn't that the whole idea? <laughs> yeah, you don't have a contingency plan for the actual purpose problem, of the plane. Yeah, yeah the actual yeah, problem. Like the, only the, problem, the only problem that you problem need to worry about. Arise yeah. <laughs> from such a, yeah. That's what I wrote down is most likely... Would have had a plan for right. that. That yeah. would have been like the first thing you right. would have yeah. planned right. for. <laughs> so, and also, did it bother anyone else that that plane was roomier and cozier? It than is any, very cozy. Any plane I've been on I've a few planes. Been yeah, yeah, I've been on a few planes, and that that plane that was, was first far, class. Baby. Yeah, that was first I've class. On right the only thing they were missing was the was the meal. Yeah, I mean, like for that, real, I mean, they had the they space. Had, they, they had the had leg room, room. Leg room for days. You get on a fuck. You get on a like a couch. They were sitting. You get on a commercial fucking plane, dude. You're like nut to butt in that bitch. Right? Like on commercial planes, they don't they don't send only thirty people. You know? But that's what I'm saying, uh, though. And they made that fucking thing look armored as shit. You know, yeah. you know, there's no way that thing's actually flying, right? You know what I mean? Like if it looks the way it's supposed to look, like like if it's an actual realistic plane. I know it's a realistic well, plane that they're flying. Well, the only thing but... I can say about that though is that it was, uh, you know, stripped down completely. There yeah, was, that's there true. Was it was pretty bare. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. bare. It was you just know? metal seats with. Yeah. The, uh, but uh, also, one of the best movies that I do think in this movie is when. Um, uh, Garland. Gar- no, not Garland. Uh, when uh, Nick Cage is talking to the people in the thing, he's like, if you shoot that gun, there's going to be 20 pissed off convicts. Mm. And then that guy goes. Puts a slur and he goes, well, hooray for the sounds of freaking silence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the the biggest, the big, the best thing that they could have done on this plane, I'm just saying, I'm, it, I'm spitballing here, but if you're going to build a plane designed to transport convicts and you've got a cockpit, right, with, with the pilots. A button where they can hit, they just lock a it button. down. Yeah, not, well, a, not a lockdown even, a fucking gas them all. Knock them all their asses out, sleep gas. Boom. All asleep. <laughs> Even the guards, they're all asleep. Yeah. Have a guard up in the cockpit at all times with you. Anything goes wrong, you automatically, like, emergency button, boom, gassed. Go out I there, think, about, give it about five minutes, let it air out, go out there and see what's yeah, going on, lock everybody back up. I think it would be up. important that, okay, if you're going to do that, though, you also need, like, a locking mechanism because gas takes time to hit, right? I understand that, yeah. Right, so it's going to take a minute to hit, so automatically, you know, you hit that lock button. Lock down and gas, boom. It locked. It locks the cockpit down. Ain't nobody getting in. You know, cages or whatever. That's what. I, that's just didn't what, what I didn't get. Like, so you're you're transporting. I mean, granted, I know you're in the, the, the air. The cockpit is literally the one place that should be completely protected. Uh, no, one hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. The, the, I mean, the, 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 John yeah, Malkovich was able to get in there way right, too easy. There yeah. should have been. There should have been even. You know, even before they took off, maybe it should have been caged off. 
There, you know there, what I mean? Like nobody's getting in there. Yeah, yeah. like I think I think nobody even has a key. Like yeah, you know, not even the guards. Right, nobody's like, allowed nobody in. Nobody can get in there. And the only way, actually, honestly, there shouldn't even be a fucking door there. There should just be a way for the the pilots oh, to be able to get in and out <laughs> off of that plane right there. No entrance into the main area of the plane. Just right. That's it. Well, I'm just uh, the only thing I'll say about that though. We just solved a lot of this movie's problems. Yeah, and then the movie, it was, the was, over. yeah. If we, if we, if this is what they would have done, there wouldn't have been a movie. Yeah, it would, it would be in the writing room, and we just, well, you just killed the fucking movie. Ah, oh, shit. Sorry, uh, sorry about I, that. My, my bad. All right, well, let's go back. Yeah, could you imagine watching a movie like that where you're like, you're like watching the movie, and you're like, the whole time everything's safe. They're just taking the plane line. <laughs> like, so when's the action start? Because yeah. I'm, I mean, Nick Cage is here, John Malkovich, <gasps> Ving Rhames. Movie idea. It would be funny. A parody of it? <laughs> no, like it, it would just be funny. Like you, you pitch this idea like for a fake action movie. You know, you put all this action in the trailer. I mean, they did it with the Men Who Stare at Goats. Made a butt ton of movie. Yeah, you know, they made a butt ton of money off of that. You know, and like, honestly, we, it probably still did well at the box office. We could do that with an action movie and just not have any action in it. Like they solve the problem, and then there's no action. No, because then you get sued. Yeah, you might. Men Who Stare at Goats didn't get sued. Yeah, well, they, that's because they only advertised the good parts of the movie. Yeah, we'll advertise all the good parts. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I don't um, think it would work out too well. I'd be like, that part. movie looks boring. That's- no, we no, like you advertise all the parts, you know, that lead up to the problem, right? Like, here's all the the, the things that led and up. And then to- it's just the rest of the and movie then, from like, that point. And we solve just, it, and then the rest of the movie from that point, It's just them sitting nothing. in a plane. Mm-hmm. Do, do, do. Yep. Yep. Um, Peanuts, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Garland Green's like, you gotta take my mask off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't eat those. Yeah. Did anybody feel that the, the guy under the truck needed a bigger role? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Easy for you to say. You ain't gotta take a piss. I love that guy. He's the greatest part of the movie. <laughs> now the undercover DEA guy. Did did it just, did it piss anybody else off? He's a DEA agent, and like. His first thing to do is to get up and pull his fucking gun out right away. Yeah, he's about to. He's done. Yeah. And and how did just, he even get that position? Yeah, like you don't you don't feel it out for a little while and make. And the play sad later. part is he didn't even look. Calm. He was very nervous and like all also of the, that, he's like everybody freeze. Like like, like where are you a he civilian? Doesn't even dude? Wait a minute to make yeah. his play. Not yeah, you know that, what I mean. He doesn't even feel out the situation. Like four or five shots. Huh. That gun that he had doesn't matter though. He could have utilized it by taking out the right fucking people. Yeah, and he he doesn't even like wait to make a play. He doesn't feel out the yeah, situation. He doesn't. He doesn't. Yep. It, it just it pissed me off because I'm sitting here like you've got to have better training than that. I know. See, this is where the writing like from like the like let's say for instance like we said before uh, Reservoir Dogs, mm. uh, the cop who goes undercover and infiltrates the whole yeah. thing. Yeah, there's a huge difference between that cop and this cop because mm-hmm. this cop is a fucking retard, whereas the other cop made it all the way to the end and even fooled and had people everything. The only person that get this whole full circle here, the only one that didn't believe this shit was Steve, Pink, Mister yep, Pink, Steve, Steve, Steve Buscemi. Buscemi. You know, though, it's because he was actually Garland Green. That was where he it went was a after. prequel. Yeah, it was a prequel. Prequel to go- actually, well, I don't know. Garland that Green survives into, too. I think I wrote it down. I think that uh, I actually wrote uh, we need a spinoff <laughs> slash sequel about Garland Green. Garland Green and Mr. Pink, and they're actually brothers. We could have a prequel part, and then... well, no, because he could be the same guy because we don't know uh, Mr. Pink's real name. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So he that that Garland might Green. that might actually be what happened to Garland Green afterwards. Maybe I'm did, gonna go with that. Did anybody besides me? I've always laughed at this part where where uh, Cyrus goes. Uh, uh, my since my group, I want to I'm gonna make this easy. And then he's like, he, the graveyard, the boneyard's here. This is here, and the guy goes, "What's that?" And he goes, "That's a that, rock. That's a rock." <laughs> <laughs> that's I always. I just want to point this out. The same guy who uh, I don't know produced or directed, also directed or produced. Uh, he had something to do with The Rock also with Nicolas Cage. <laughs> oh, yeah, so yeah. There's, there's a lot of close connections. And, uh, there's a lot, yeah. like the music, for one. Mm-hmm. And also, the music also reminds me of Broken Arrow with yes, uh, John Travolta. I thought the same thing, too. It has to be the same musical I seen that guy. Movie in years. Yeah, Broken Arrow. And also, um, I'm going to have to go face off, maybe, even? Yes. Um, actually, there's a lot of... I'm sure uh, there's a lot of connections. Yeah, there's a lot of connections. Those movies. And a lot of it has to do with them all being kind of made around the same time. 
So, yeah. uh, and they were a lot of them were utilizing sort of the same people, same, same you know, musical yeah, score, same, you yeah, know, kind of things like composers that. Composers and that. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about uh, Garland Green having tea with a little girl. Yeah. Um, so, for one, I was wondering if that's like he changed after that because he saw innocence, like he saw real innocence. <laughs> I was wondering if maybe that's what that was all about. Because, like, he no, I hurt think the girl. I think the whole point of Garland is to um, like give he, you that air of you don't always know what psych, psychopath, psychopathy is going to be or what it's going to look like. I think it was trying to give you that point of um, I don't know if he's still a psychopath or he, you know if he'd still kill people or whatever, but it gave you that idea of like he wasn't supposed to be. He wasn't put in the movie to he's be not, a... Yeah, he's not necessarily yeah. supposed to be a monster. Yeah, he's yeah. put in the movie more as a sign of relief and almost comic relief. Because let's face it, at the end where you see him playing the, the tables he's and shit like... the whole world. That part, I was like, I'll never ever like that song again because of that of this movie. That, that movie, because of this movie, that song scares the shit out of me. Mm-hmm. Also, I just want to point out, I, I wrote this down even, I said, I bet that girl's, that girl hat fit nicely if he was through uh, if he went, the one that he wore through three states because remember he tells uh he tells uh i think the difference is like for garland i think that his targets are all like adult i don't yeah. think that he has he's not gonna kill like, he's not kid. gonna go but like kids. but he he tells the one guy or he tells poe he, yeah, goes, been, he goes you know i once uh i wore a i wore a girl's he- a uh head a, a w- girl's states. head for as a, a hat, hat as a hat for three states i said i bet that hat fit nicely see okay <laughs> and here's the thing like, I even said this to Jeremiah as we were watching it. Like, I wish Cameron would shut the fuck up and let him talk. I would really like to hear his stories. Garland's true, stories. Yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up, Cameron. Let's and let, let him the talk. serial took let, 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 let the serial crazy tickle. guy talk for a second. I want to hear what he has to say. Um, also, did anybody find it weird that when he got to the, the fire truck, the guy was like, go to the fire truck that my house, that that was a fully stocked first aid kit? Yeah, like that was it was fully stocked. Why is the full a fully stocked first aid kit in a junked out truck in the boneyard? They're not going to put a first aid kit there. It was probably just left over there, but but still, that's no because he had to break open a door to get to it. No, I don't know, man. There's no reason that first aid kit should have been there. They, first of all, they would have cleaned that truck out. They would have, t- especially uh, also that box was rust old and rusty and looked burned. I don't think I'd be using that stuff, needle. It <laughs> no, I don't think I'd be using no. that needle. I do want to say, though, one of the best lines in the movie, there's only two men I trust. One of them's me, and the other's not you. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah, that was good. I was like, that's such a good line. Um, On any other day, that might seem kind of strange. Yeah, on any other day, that might seem kind of strange. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I think that pinball got the shaft. That's all I got to say, man. <laughs> the way he went out, he's just like, no, I was like, come on, man. Yeah. You could have utilized Dave, Dave Chappelle better well, than that. Okay, yeah. also, where did they get the booze? That is a good question. <laughs> yeah, because they're dancing no, around. No, I never even thought Yeah, they're dancing around. I'm like, where did he get? I was like, well, wait. That's the least of my no, but concerns. That, but, in that's, this movie. but that's after they, they were at the airfield, right? Yeah, but they didn't show them grabbing. So, yeah, they could have got it at the airfield, but they don't, like, ever show it actually happening. Maybe. So, but it would have been a little. You could have just so said it was grabbed off camera. But I mean, look, no, but no, no, no. What I'm thinking is, is uh, what's the dude that thought he was a chick? I don't know. Because he was walking around looking. He found the dress. I don't whatever so Poe walks up. He was in hackers. Yeah, I know. Whenever Paul pa- pa- walks up and he like goes to punch him and like smacks him, that's he's like, hilarious. He's like, Ew. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> I think I wrote that down somewhere too. But like this, this was the part you know talking about how he wouldn't let Garland talk. This is the other thing that killed me about it. Like Cameron is so cool, calm, and collected, right? Yeah. No matter what's going on, that part where he takes the bullets in the arm and just keeps walking, right? Doesn't cool, even care. Calm, collected. Cool, calm, collected, even though he's going to prison and he's going to miss out on all of his baby girls first, right? Cool, calm, collected. Everything. Cool, calm, and collected. Garland starts talking. He almost loses his fucking shit. Like, shut the, shut up. You know, like, yeah, start, it's because it's he's like, telling him, because he's, it's, it's because the way Garland's uh, making him is basically kind of saying to him, you're the same as us. When he was talking, because you're talking about when he comes back from the bottom of the plane, right? No, I don't remember when, it, but he was just talking. He was just talking. He was talking about the wearing a head as a hat, and then he like yeah. Well, out he, that's him. because when that's when Nicholas Cage comes out with the plane, he's looking at his hands, and the guy says two guy, and then Garland says two guys go two down, down, one, one comes, comes up, up, and then he talks about the murder. He is some murders, murders out in the yeah, but he literally there. just killed a guy and was cool, calm, and collected about it. So 
I don't I don't think I don't he think was he was cool. though. I think he I think he I think, I think he had the shakes was, a little bit. Yeah. He was just kind of like and then and he then, didn't act like it down at the bottom though. I think, well, no, because he had to stay cool, calm, and collected down there. But when yeah, when but Gar even was, when he was at the bottom, and he had already done it. I don't, know, see, I, I don't think it, I don't think it sat well with him when he when he mm. came at up, first anyway when he came up Garland even said you know the the Gacy and all of them did it because they liked it and he goes I'm nothing like them I'm nothing like you I think I think he was traumatized he, yeah he did it yeah but he it just seems like out of he wasn't to shut up in that situation I don't care who you are your blood's gonna be pumping your adrenaline's gonna be going yeah that's true um, but I will mention I do want to talk about uh, so. Whenever they're like raiding uh, um, John Malkovich's uh, Cyrus the Virus's cell, mm-hmm. so John Cusack walks out and says, "Don't touch anything." Oh, the yeah. first the fucking thing they, they do is pick up the only box that says, "Don't open this," and this dumbass opens it. Like, dude, like literally, he just said it. Yeah. Like, as he's walking out, he said it, and you automatically pick up a box and open it. Of course. Also, the thing that like he well, hits almost, the ground, almost like you know they have to do that. Yeah, John right? Cusack hits the ground. What is that? That sticks is like that a fan from the room or something? It was something. It looked like it a, looked like maybe I was. It looked like an like airplane an propeller fan. thing. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, but maybe it was an exhaust fan. I don't know. Because what... you don't like really see much of the explosion. Right. Hmm. I didn't even really but think about that. Also, to be you know, at the end of the movie. When he go, when John Malkovich goes through that window, they show him coming back and he's falling towards the truck. Where did he fall? Because he did not fall anywhere near the truck. Did you notice he went from like falling on the truck to falling to this thing that smashes rock? I don't know. I just I didn't like John Malkovich or John uh, Cusack's character. You didn't in this movie? No, I really didn't. Um, he I mean he was okay. He served his purpose, but he was overutilized. So like the. And, like, the part where the whole, uh, the end in Vegas, like, the part where they're, like, uh, the whole chase scene and everything, John Cusack shouldn't have been there. I don't like that he went with Poe. Like, I understand. Yeah, that, like, I don't, I, were, I don't they, It was almost like there. at the end there, they were trying to put him on the same level as Poe. And I wasn't okay with that because Poe was the center of the movie. That was, he was the star. Well, I think so. They, like, and then having him like, jump well, on the bike, like he then, was a badass when he's done absolutely nothing until this point. And also, honestly, in a real world setting, neither one of them would have been there at that point in time. The cavalry has arrived, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, like, but, but, anyway. yeah. What I mean, like, when the Cyrus the virus part happens, though, is like you you see him go through the window and they show him falling towards the truck, but then all of a sudden he lands somewhere that's got a rock crusher on it. He yeah, even, it's he, completely out of nowhere. Yeah, like it is really weird. The city, yeah. and then like he lands in a rock crusher, and then he uh, just lays there like, oh god. Well, well I don't know. You hurt. get thrown like maybe, but you, hurt, you can maybe. at least move your fucking head, like so don't, don't know, get like, smashed. Well, the thing I don't was know. Kinda... I would I would be less concerned about that and more concerned about where the fuck did the rock crusher come from? And why is the rock crusher running at night in Vegas? Anyway, everything runs. I mean, Vegas never sleeps. Yeah, I guess not even the not even the mechanical equipment. <laughs> Not even the cannibal equipment. So, like, I know that there's always supposed to be like the the asshole guy that tries to, um, you know, foil the the good guys. And maybe now that I think about it, the DEA is just really bad about training their people because that DEA guy was one hell of an idiot asshole. I think there. See what I was saying. What I was trying to say during the whole when you were talking about the guy is I, it kind of made. It kind of made me think that they were making the DEA look like they were pieces of crap. I guess cause like because like he was an idiot. Because they did not. Because if you did, they did not shine a good light on the no, DEA. No, neither all. one of them. You're you right. You know what's funny about this movie <laughs> is um, we can critique the shit out of it because they've essentially taken action movies and made them more grounded and less uh, less like this. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like how this movie has so many flaws and dipshits and. And, and one-liners and stuff yeah, like, like that. That's, that's they don't make they don't make a, movies. Yeah. They don't make action movies like that anymore. So we tend to critique those older ones for that reason. Mm-hmm. So because nowadays action movies are as but, as 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 bore honestly boring and uh, grounded as they can be as they can make them. I still like the old action movies because they're not grounded. That's exactly so. yeah. well. That's what mm-hmm. I'm saying is like. This that's what fun. we that's what we loved about those old movies. Whereas the new movies nowadays, movies action movies nowadays have more of a uh, 
are so much more grounded. They're not at all unrealistic. You know what I mean? Well, they are well, still, see, that's because, like, but yeah, not to movies, the extent that it's unbelievable. Right. When I, I like to, when I watch movies, I like to go in thinking, well, this world is nothing like the real world. It's its own little world. Every movie, it's its own little world. Yeah. It's kind of like the last action hero. You know, the movie world oh, is a I whole world movie. all the, on its own. And that's kind of what I go into every movie thinking. It's kind of weird because when you want us to review movies, it's like, well, I got to look at it in a whole different light now. Yeah, exactly. And that's that's the big thing. And the funny part is, is these old action movies, man. Like it, like that part where John Malkovich and his whole crew are walking away away from the explosion, and well, they who all turn around. Look at explosion, and, except for John Malkovich, he doesn't look because mm-hmm. you know what that reminded me of. Cool guys. Cool don't guys at... don't look mm-hmm. at explosions. Uh, I thought of that part when the when uh when um Nicholas Cage was walking from the explosion that the little bar or whatever. Yeah. I thought of that that at that part. <laughs> cool guys don't look at explosions. Also, when John Cusack gets that and they shoot that jet engine at him, he would have gotten burned. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I think he was a little too close. Where he it may have not been serious, but he would have gotten burned. I just think it's funny that whenever they're taking off in the plane and that they have that hook hooked up to it and it doesn't work and it just pulls that concrete post down and it flies around. Everything, anything that it could have taken with it, it happened to grab that car. Oh, absolutely. Just that car. Oh, yeah. Look, because and, nicest... and I was sitting there like, what did that, that, the only thing that Corvette ever did was be owned by a douchebag. Like, yeah. they, don't, why? You didn't have to destroy that beautiful car. Right. Also, in real life, what, I don't think the Corvette would have flown it. It just would have ripped that axle right out. Oh, for oh, sure. For yeah. sure. <laughs> it would have just ripped that axle right, I mean, right out. I mean, if it was already in the air, it would have been going. But the way it ripped it out of there and mm-hmm. shit, for sure, dude. Yeah, that, that, just that thing the wouldn't have a front right end. Oh, like, yeah, it would, it would have done. Well, and in all honesty, if you own the car, that's the preferable you know, because at least right. then you can fix it. And yeah. then I, I wrote this down: "Define irony." Oh, that's my favorite line. <laughs> a bunch of guys uh, singing to a band on a plane who died in a plane crash. Yep, that's my <laughs> that's my favorite line. My favorite line in the whole movie. I said it last week. Define irony. My favorite line is on any other day. That would seem that might seem. Strange. I just want to. I also want to put this out there, dude. They destroyed half of Las Vegas. Yeah. Don't they always though? I'm telling and you. Tell, dude. Me, tell me an action movie that they don't destroy some city or some something. Yeah, the damage like, is like not even worth just letting them go. Right. And catching up with right, them later. Right. I but mean, no, they got some action star who's like, I'm a badass, and that like, but he'll, me, he'll get a fucking me, medal of honor for this at the end. Tell me how pissed you would be, right? Like, you've got a mortgage or and that car white Corvette payments. that they were talking about that was parked. Uh, somebody please move your white Corvette. Yeah, and then like it gets fire. smashed. That's what I'm saying. You got you got a mortgage and car payments and fucking you know some you're, dipshit you're, with you're, long hair that um, looks remarkably a lot like Nicolas Cage right. just wrecks through on with a fucking fire truck. <laughs> yeah, totals all all of your vehicles. Yeah, you're just like that was nobody's Nicolas nobody's, Cage that nobody's was driving the fire truck. I'm just saying it was yeah. a swamp thing. I, I know. I'm just saying. Yeah, we're yeah. We're I was just, saying that it was. We're, we're, was we're lamenting yeah. about you know like nobody's gonna pay for that. Yeah, nobody's gonna pay for that. Well, they they might defi- the insurance company might define it as an act of God. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> that, that's that's fair. That's true, yeah, natural like, disaster. Like, maybe, yeah. sure. My thing is, how do you fill out an insurance form for that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please fill out what happened to your vehicle. Well, a convict, a long-haired right. convict that looked a lot like Nick Cage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, drove a fire drove truck. a fire truck through it, <laughs> and then after that, he threw a man into a power line, and then uh, his face landed. Oh, well, Rock Crusher smashed his face. <laughs> oh, my, I like, how do you explain that? Right. This, is a, this is a serious question, actually. I gotta. When he shoves the fire hose in the truck, doesn't that doesn't the fire hose need to be hooked to a tank? Is there a tank on fire trucks? Yeah, there are. Yeah, there are. But it's they, have a the res- truck. they have a reserve okay. of water yeah. in the truck. Okay, because that's what, like, I didn't know. Just if they in case did there not. are no, because they, you know, you get a fire out in the middle of BFE, they, use, they don't have. Yeah, they'll use, they always use a hydrant if the hydrant is nearby, mm-hmm. but they have tanks yeah. inside okay. the trucks in case there's like if, a hydrant. If, I, I thought... if a house catches on fire out in the middle of, you know, BFE, they don't have hydrants out there. Right. Uh, that, so. Okay, that's why, because I, I thought, I figured they did have tanks, but I wasn't for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't use them unless they have to because obviously it's that's a, reserve. a res- yeah, it's a yeah. reserve. Yeah. Um like I liked how she looked at him and said next time take the bus. Honey, have you not seen speed? 
Right. They're not always yeah. safe either. I <laughs> then, mean, then he would have just fell in love with Sandra Bullock and left your ass right, behind, <laughs> right? I mean, there it, it's around the same time, right? Like yeah. all these movies were coming out. Yeah. Did you not see that movie? It's the same. I mean, <laughs> didn't you ever see? That would be funny if that's what he said. Yeah, have funny. you ever seen Speed? <laughs> that would be funny. Like I just saw that Speed movie. Yeah. Like <laughs> that ain't <laughs> safe neither. I also like that the part. Oh, yeah, it's dirty. <laughs> what? what? Your shirt isn't clean. <laughs> With the bunny? Oh, a little dirty. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh yeah. That's okay. Just oh, it's a little wipe dirty. Off the dirt With a the little blood. Dirty. <laughs> yeah. But you know that's the type of like. Not to get too cheesy or anything. I got very like, emotional at that part. I was. That's what say. I'm saying. Like that's what I'm saying. That's the kind of present that she's gonna get, and, and she's always gonna life. keep, and oh, she's yeah. gonna have forever. She have that bunny yeah. rabbit forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Blood yep. and yep. Blood and everything. It doesn't matter. It's and... got a good story. Oh, she yep. loves it because that's the yep. first thing she got from her daddy. Yep. 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 That will be. And it will never that be bunny washed. Rabbit will never be... ever be lost. Right. Yep. Yeah. That that part there actually made me. Uh, it made me. Uh, it, it pulled the heartstrings a little bit. Like, does Madison have anything like that that you gave her for, and she still has? Uh, I'm sure she does. Um, I know there have been things that I've given her that she's held on to. Um, even hell, I've held on to things over years. Um, I know, like I said, uh, talking about that Zed Not zombie Zed. that she had. Yeah. She had that forever until it started falling apart. <laughs> so just stuff like that. But yeah, like being a dad of a, of a daughter myself. So I'm like, I'm watching that part. I'm like, oh. Like it's so nice, every, you know what I mean? Every, like every kid has something from their parents that they still have, or yeah. you know that, or at least that they remember. I just I think it I think it was the culmination of like, you know, him being reunited with his wife and daughter, <laughs> and yeah. seeing his daughter for the first time, and the music that they were playing oh, while they yeah. did it. You know, I now that you hate say that, that song, I was though. like, I, I don't really care, do. dude. It pulled the right strings, man. Um, <laughs> now that you say that, something that you remember your parents. By it's funny because I don't keep things, but there are two things that I told my mom when she passes I want, and one of them is this little plastic cow that she has hung in the kitchen every house that we've ever lived in, and the other one is this picture that's painted on wood, and it's not really painted on wood; it's like a printed on wood, but it's an old country store, uh. and it's been in every house we have. And I and I told her when I when you die, that's what I want to remember you by is that little plastic, this little cheap plastic cow. Sure. And that wood, that picture. Yeah. And I told him, I'll fight Tyler for it. Oh. <laughs> I'll beat your red-headed ass. I'll, I'll pop popcorn. We'll come watch that. <laughs> <laughs> Here's uh, the epic showdown over the cow. <laughs> okay, so uh, any more, anything else you guys want to talk no, about? No, I, I, I covered everything I had. Yeah. Um, I think that about covers it. Uh, do you guys want to fucking jump into reviews and rate this bitch? Sure. We didn't even do it the beginning if we talked about if we would watch it again or something. Okay, well, oh, we can we do that didn't. right now if you want. I would. No, I would I would recommend it and I would watch it again. You'd recommend it watch again? Yeah, because anybody who... Anybody who... It's a good action flick, dude. Oh, for sure. And like I said, way back when, I used to I, I used to like Nicolas Cage and everybody's like, oh, he's a crap actor. <laughs> no, he just has... He, it's, just, it's just like any other actor. He's got to play the right rules. Yeah, right. And the rules that yeah. he play are Southern and and quiet. And sometimes kind of fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a hard recommend from Matt. Karen, what do you think? Well, I mean, we've talked about Nicolas Cage before. Yeah. I don't think he's ever changed. No, I, think, I mean, the world has changed, I guess, but yeah. Nicolas Cage and his yeah. acting has never changed. Yeah. I don't think, it, like I said, uh, it's not so much. A lot of these actors are like, oh, are bad actors? No, it's just they're not. The, it's not the right role. There's only been one movie that I watched with Nicolas Cage mm-hmm. that I thought his acting was bad. You guys ever seen Vampire's Kiss? No. Oh. Yeah, I have seen it. Terrible. I thought you were gonna say Wicker Man because yes. no, no, no. I thought that was great. <laughs> yeah, as a, maybe as a comedy. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean his acting. Not the bees. Right. No. Right. He was he was a bad cast. Yeah. For that movie, yeah. his acting was still on par. But top notch, Nicolas Cage, nine millimeter, eight millimeter. Or yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, that's what you said. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Shut up. But uh, yeah, yeah millimeter. Vampire. Nine millimeter. I'm thinking of a gun. That's the only <laughs> movie I've ever seen that I went. Eek. Yeah, yeah, you're that's bad an old this. movie. You're though. Very bad. Yeah, did you notice his accent kept changing throughout the movie? Yeah. I'm like, what you, is going on? You listen on? to any podcast or any movie reviewers; they're going to tell you that's one of the it's worst. It's terrible. Nick Cage it's movies. terrible. Anyway, I digress. Uh, I love Nicolas Cage, um, but uh, yeah, um, would I watch again? I 
did, I have, and I will. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> this is one of those movies, like, of course. Would I recommend? I have, and I probably will. Yeah. For <laughs> um, me, uh, would I watch again? Of course. I just bought the goddamn movie for a reason. Um, also, would I recommend? It's one of those instances, like, you ask people. I feel like the person who picked it, like, unless they did it as a joke. Yeah, like, to, like, right. There's probably going to be a movie or Five or there's ten. gonna be a point where I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna pick this movie. I don't want to watch it, but I want you fuckers to suffer exactly, with me. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I had to watch this at some point, so you motherfuckers are yeah. watching it. <laughs> I've already kind of decided this. It kind of, I was kind of like, oh, that's gonna suck because I want to realize every movie that I recommend probably gonna be a high <laughs> because I own it. Yeah. <laughs> See, well, for me, like in this case, this movie is one of those movies you're like. You're like, yeah, man, Con Air. Like, I've never seen it. Like, it's one of those things. Like, you've never seen Con Air, right? Like, who the fuck are you? Are you even an American? Like, yeah, where are you from? I've probably watched. Are you, every have you Nicolas lived on Cage. this planet your whole life? Yeah, I've like, probably watched every every Nicholas Cage at least. And you know, Con Air Nicolas is like Cage one anymore. of the like pinnacle movies of his. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, whenever it comes to action, action and Nick Cage. Movies. If you haven't seen, uh, you know, Raising Arizona, Con Air, Face I, I, Off. No, hold on. I will forgive Raising Arizona Fuck because it's you. not. Well, I love the movie, oh. but I will forgive it for the fact that it's not a very well-known movie. Not like his more popular action movies like uh, Face yeah. Off, Raising Con Air. Arizona is, is, is it's a niche a, movie, man. It's, it's kind of a pop culture reference, though. There's a lot. Not of really, man. It. It's a niche movie, man. Some people wouldn't dig it. A lot of people wouldn't dig it. I love the movie. I think it's fucking hilarious. But some people are just you like... You saw Mitch! Yeah. yeah, I was going to say, Karen's got things she wants us to say. Yeah. I love yeah, Raising Arizona. I, I, I think that Karen fucking movie's Raising hilarious. Arizona. Raising Arizona is... And, you know, you kind of ruined it because my next pick was going to be Raising Arizona. And I'm like, well, now I can't pick yeah, it. Yeah, that's two Nick Cages. Yep. Now I can't pick it. That was going to be my next... I had it picked out like a month ago. And I'm like, ah, oh. oh, well, there went that. It's a good fucking it's movie. It's funny because my next pick I've had picked out for like a month. But I keep going with something else. Like I was going to pick it out, and I realized and the sad that part is, it's been out. so long that I've seen since I've seen Raising Arizona that I would love to watch that movie again. I know. Now so, I'm like, oh, you're I like, can't. now we've already had a Nick Cage movie. Right. Better give it some time. Well, so I was like, I was like, if I pick that, everybody's going to be like, really? Oh, you were a Brandon Fraser fucking podcast. Now you're a Nick Cage uh, podcast. I'm like, oh, I can't do it. Oh, I'll, I'll wait. I haven't seen Raising Arizona in years. Mm -hmm. I love that movie. I'm not even sure if I've I took that. Seen I took you know, like when I was uh, in the hospital having Jack, I felt like I had to bring like baby movies. Oh, I guess like why? I don't know. I thought that that was a thing. No. <laughs> so I, I brought Raising Arizona. Um, shoot 'em up, dude! I watched the and entire Hellraiser series. <laughs> There's a baby in it. <laughs> you know, I, that you that I watched. I watched every. Don't give me that look. Hey, I watched every Hellraiser movie with my daughter when she was three, and she loved every minute of it. Oh, no, dude. I mean, I was I was having <laughs> so, a baby, so like, I mean, yeah, my kids and I we watched that. No, I'm saying I was in a hospital having a baby, so I thought it should have like baby movies. But check this out though, like, what kind of three year old sits through every Hellraiser no, movie? Dude, she did. Dude. I didn't understand it. No, okay. uh, she did. She was co completely captivated by I'm it. I'm telling you, ask my mother. I literally, my mom called the Exorcist the babysitter. If she wanted to get the house clean or do something, she would put that on, and I'd sit there and fucking watch Dude. it. No, there was one time where I couldn't get Aura to settle down, and I turned on the TV and I was just flipping to the channel, thinking I'm gonna have to stop on a cartoon. Well, I stopped at Chucky. <laughs> she sat there. That's and another one that Madison's obsessed with. Chucky, Chucky just. And Scream, she loves Scream. Mm -hmm. She still does. She she sure. her one of her favorite movies is the first Scream movie. Yeah, well, I don't blame her. And, and I don't you know, blame her either. It's a great fucking funny. movie. You know, it was funny, and I came up with it with why I think this is. But one Stu. day, one day we were watching. Oh, don't blame her. It was after Chucky. She she wa was watching Chucky, and this commercial came on where it was this jalapeno, and it was like. I forget what it was, but it was like a person. It was a jalapeno with like a human face, and she screamed her head off. <laughs> so Madison, Madison gets scared of the dumbest things. You know? And like, then like, I, you're afraid of that. I like, saw that. Oh, the Watchmen. She didn't like the Watchmen, the movie. I don't she's, think she, I, it scared I don't her. Know, I'm I've like, actually seen that. She's it was scared. I'm like, this scares you. Like, oh, uh, what is the? Uh, well, uh, well, yeah, she, Aura did that, and I, I figured maybe it was because Chucky was kind of human. So that's why she didn't get scared with Chuggy. But then um, also, I remember one time when you lived on, I lived with you out here at Jefferson. Johnston. Johnston, where uh, you guys were watching Old Boy or something. And Madison was there and she started crying because something weird happened. in the Yeah, movie. no, it wasn't weird. She just didn't like the tone of the movie. It scared her. 
Uh, is that she what got that way with certain movies? Yeah, because I, I, re- I yeah. can see what that. I, yeah. I remember we were sitting there and we were watching it, and all of a sudden she just started crying, and you, yeah. you comfort her. You were like, "What's wrong?" And, and yeah, it was there's just a movie. Certain, movie, certain movies, certain movie. tones, and movies will scare a kid. Yeah, me and Gage, we would watch you know scary movie after scary movie. Didn't bother him or whatever. And then one day we were watching Hatchet, and he freaked. And I'm like, "This movie? What? <laughs> this is more of a slapstick." Movie. Yeah. So like, I had turned it off and watched Tucker and Dale. Then he was fine. I fucking love Tucker and oh, Dale. Oh yeah, yeah. I love that movie. There was one time I was like, there was one time I was watching. I took Aura into my room and I was watching Criminal Minds, and there was a part where he walks in the freezer and there's all these dead bodies, and she started screaming at that. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, okay, well, let's not this then because there's yeah because uh, it's weird because there will be things that babies won't scream at but then they'll see something they'll scream and it's just yeah. because i think they see it weird and it's just there's certain things that'll trigger my mom watches those zip pop videos mm-hmm. which is nasty disgusting i like it uh, you like it too uh, well anyways uh, my mom hates horror uh, maybe it was, maybe it's a guy thing that like all guys hate it and girls are like yeah, yeah that's i've awesome. also got a f- that phobia of holes oh that trick uh, trick trick the, trick of phobia yeah, yeah, trip of phobia yeah. whatever it is Dude, it's like when they pull those ones out and there's like a gaping hole. Yeah, yeah. or like just things in the skin, like that holes. And dude, one of the big like uh, Candy. Have you seen a new Candyman? No, I haven't seen it. You yet. haven't seen? Uh, I you want haven't to. seen it? No, oh, I it's really it. good. I really good. I want to. Um, I want so there's to. a part where like he's like covered in like what would be beehive holes. Yeah, dude, almost sent me over the edge. So you you had nightmares and I didn't have nightmares. It's one of those things I get really super grossed out and I can't. I can't think about it. Like, but you know that buried movie with Ryan Reynolds? I've never seen it, but I know what you're talking about. I had nightmares. Did you? Um, yeah. But what I, I did. I, what I was saying is, my uh, niece was there because my brother dropped her off for a little bit because he had some things he had to do and he didn't want to have to take her so she, we could feed her and stuff. She we can feed her and stuff. Well, anyways, she climbed on top. My mom loves seeing her when she doesn't see her in a while. I like seeing her too. But my mom's watching those videos, and Aura crawls up on the t- on the couch, sees that she's watching those, Vicky, uh, those videos, and goes, Icky! <laughs> and I was like, yes. <laughs> and she goes, eh. But then she still watches them with my mom, and I just thought it was funny, because the first one she looked at, Icky. <laughs> I was like, yeah, All right. mom. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's move forward here. Let's get into our, uh, our reviews here. Let's uh, go ahead and um, kick it off with Matt. What do you think, man? Tell us, tell us, tell us what you think, and then give us your review. Well, you know, I usually give fives if the movie kept. Okay, but what I'm saying is, like, tell us what you think, and then tell us your score. What do you mean, what I think? Well, give us an explanation as to what your score or uh, of your score, and then tell us your score. Well, that's what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Okay, like I say, usually I give fives, and I say it's because the movie entertained me, and I kept interested. This one I gave a six, and. Mainly, it's because this is one of those movies that I can watch over and over again. He just did exactly what I told him not to do. Well, I don't care. I wasn't That's gonna not say how it. I do it. <laughs> That's it's fine. whatever. It's fine. Keep going. I can watch it over and over again. So it's one of those movies that, like, a lot of the movies that I rate as fives, I like, and I'll watch again. But this one is one of those that I've watched over and over again. It's one of those I'll movies that could never get old. <laughs> You're like, I will be passing it on TV, and if nothing else is on. But I'm you're definitely then, you're I'm definitely check, Con Air. you're definitely staying on Con Air. Yeah, because it's one of the movies he, they can't even censor too much of because it's not there's overly not too censored, It's not really. overly graphic. I mean, there's yeah. some cur- cursing in it, and I, it is rated R. But like for the most part, though, there's no nudity. There's no yeah, there, crazy there, violence or no. There's there's little bits of things here and there, and also I'm honestly, becoming... I don't honestly I don't even know why it is an R rated movie. It's like I think it's because of some of the things that um are insinuated and plus you know they drop a fucking body off of a plane yeah but that shit's funny they they, they could do that in a pg-13 movie no nah, they would totally know. like i think the biggest thing is probably johnny 23 is one of the things because the whole rape thing yeah. sure um also but, maybe they drop a little too many f-bombs and you know th- this is one of those movies yeah, I, I don't expect- know if they- have to count them they only get like two <laughs> no in, an, in, a, in a uh pg-13 movie PG-13 movie, I believe they're allowed one F-bomb. Yeah, I think that's true. But, like, well, also, it's a movie where there's prisoners, so you expect a lot of cussing. Right, yeah. Because sure. cussing. It's like if we watch the movie with sailors, there's going to be a lot of cussing and drinking. Hmm. I'm sorry, but there are stereotypes, and people are like, oh, stereotypes are bad. But no, a lot of them are followed, and a lot of them aren't stereotypes. Right. There's a reason for stereotypes. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, uh, six, because it's one of those movies that, 
I would stop on. I'll stop and watch a little bit of it. Like if I'm going through something, I'll stop and watch that scene until the next commercial. Or right. Because it's just one of those. Yeah, it's just six because, yeah, like I said, one of those movies I'll stop on. It's definitely one of the movies like you're getting a one liner every 15 minutes. <laughs> like so you can wait long enough for one of those one liners. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, all right. So Matt gives us six. It's good. It's a good score. What do you think, Karen? I'm terrible at explaining, but uh, I love Nicolas this is a Cage. movie you really don't have to explain a lot. Yeah, about, I guess though, so. that's why it's. Easier I mean, for I me love Nicolas Cage. And say why? Yeah, I love Nicolas Cage, and this is like you know that golden age, I guess, of these types of movies. Um, and uh, you know that I guess you know the golden age of these types of movies, and then Nicolas Cage at the peak of his popularity and everything. Um, but on, I will die on this hill. He hasn't changed people. Get over yourselves. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's cheesy in all the right ways, I suppose, but there, there's, you know, a lot of flaws, but there's a lot of flaws in all of them. That was part of the genre at the time. Well, also um, when you say cheesy, there's movies that are cheesy and there's movies that are good cheesy. Sure, I'm just talking yeah, about yeah. more like the the dialogue. Yeah. You know, sometimes you know, like when they were, they were talking about like, oh, my ties and Yahtzee for miles, or so, you know, like yeah, what? <laughs> right, like, that's dumb. But yeah. you know, I mean, just you know, some of the dialogue's cheesy, and of course, the one liners, a lot of those can be cheesy, but you expect it. That's, that's part. Of, that's want, part yeah. of this genre. Yeah, that's part of at the what time, you got, especially from the '90s and at the late time, 80s that's what and, you wanted. That's what yep. what we were expecting. So I wouldn't say that that's a bad thing. It's I mean, name a, a movie thing. in the past 10 years that's had a good one-liner in it, action movie-wise. Mm. I'd have to really think about it, but... There's the not a lot, head, man. Have There's you one. seen the newest Predator movie? Yeah, Prey? Yeah, there... No, not that one. The one before that, where he's... Oh, that like, piece of shit called... What is it? Uh, where they have the Predator Hunter thing? Yeah. I'm sorry, that had some campy moments that were funny, like when the guy is... That like, movie like, wasn't good, though. Yeah, no. When, he, when they kill the... Tr- when the Predator kills the truck guy and they go something to him and then his arm just comes... <laughs> and then also, get to the choppers! There's a motorcycle. <laughs> okay, I didn't think about that. That's pretty funny. <laughs> no, 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 I gotta watch it. No, I, 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 I might admit, either I missed that or it just wasn't funny to there me at the time. There are corny moments. But, you <laughs> saying it right, like, you, yeah, him saying it right now is fucking hilarious. There get to the choppers. Get to the choppers. Motorcycles. <laughs> That's great. Uh, no, there are parts of that movie where uh, we, we all watched it. We came out and my friends were like, that was kind of cheesy. I was like, yeah, but it was funny. Cheesy. I love cheesy, but... Yeah, you see, you expect these things with the genre and the time frame that it came out and everything. So there's not anything necessarily wrong with those right. those things. I wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't make my rating any lower because of those reasons. Um, so for what it is being, you know, an action flick in the time frame that it came out, I'm gonna go with like a seven point five. Seven five. Yeah. Damn, that's actually pretty high. Um, all right. Uh, so Karen gave it a seven, five. I think for me, this movie was, well, it goes a little higher because of Steve Buscemi. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, for me, this That's movie, a solid point. you know, after up. you told me that thing about nine 11, it just made me have a lot more respect for him. I love him. You know, he's a good, he's a, he's good, a good dude. He is. He is a good actor. Um, for me though, I'm going to have to come in here and say that this movie for me, I mean, this is 97, man. This is back whenever like, you know, you're watching a lot of action movies back then. Uh, you, we didn't have the fucking glory of the internet and all that bullshit. We had movies and video games. And this movie right here was like watching a video game. And this was you also know? the era when you wanted to see a movie, you went to the video store. Right, exactly. And you saw this. It had Nick Cage with some long-ass hair and like an airplane and you're like explosions and shit. You're like, Yes. This looks cool. Nicholas Cage is the one man that I will say with long hair. No. You're right. Yeah, he just <laughs> no. said his head's too tiny for it or yeah, something. Yeah, right? it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. But uh I, I agree, he doesn't look good with long mm-hmm. hair. But this movie, dude, like it was like it was like a Michael Bay film not directed by Michael Bay. There are so many explosions in this movie. <laughs> Like, for being an airplane movie, you're like, oh, damn, there's a lot of shit blowing up. You know what I mean? Like, why are there so many explosions? But uh, Somebody puts a pop down. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't even sit down without something blowing up. I, I, just, I just thought of that part where she said sit down. Right, and then, 
the scene. I'm gonna, that's a rock. <laughs> that's a rock. <laughs> I love that scene. I don't know why. Uh, so anyway, oh. I'm gonna have to come in here and I'm gonna have to say I'll give it a. I gotta come in at it like a six five, six point five, because I love the movie and stuff, and I, I would told recommend. You I had to go a point higher for Buscemi. You had mine, to go. Mine was mine was six five, but it had to go point higher. higher for a sure. whole point for mm-hmm. Steve Buscemi. Oh Jesus mm-hmm. Christ! No, she really likes Steve Buscemi. Not apparently, okay. <laughs> um, so no, I'm gonna come in at six five, uh, and I will. I will. This movie will never get old to me. This mm-hmm. is just one of those action flick. Is it the best action flick ever? Fuck no, not by a long shot. But it's a really good one. It's a really like it's no true lies. Uh, Just true, saying, true I love true lies. Good. I love true lies. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll give it a six five. And uh, from there, we're gonna go on into movie reviews. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not. gonna get angry? <laughs> I was gonna try. If and it's help. bad, like if they're really mean about your movie are you gonna get angry no i don't give a fuck i was i was, I was gonna say I'll, I'll try to keep oh you mean like he did last yeah. week you know dude I think he i think he lost sleep he, i think he might have too oh, i think that's why he's so tired today it might be that's why he was up all night last but night but did you guys like last week's yes yeah uh, dude i actually i actually just listened to that listen to it today yeah and dude i was laughing my ass off <laughs> <at you. laughs> yeah. i was like smiling the whole time like fucking matt yep it was it was very good <laughs> very very um good. all right so uh Con Air um, has 71 reviews. This is our, we're going to go, we're going to use Rotten Tomatoes today. It is, is it, well, no, it's not going to be reviews from the, t- the, the time that it came out because it's years old. Right. Um, so the reason why I'm using Rotten Tomatoes is because there's no way that they're buying reviews for this movie. Yeah, it's too old. It's too old. They don't give a shit. So these reviews are going to be legit. Um, so there's 71 reviews from the critics on this one. What do you guys think it's got? Uh, I'm gonna say they gave it. I'm gonna say they at least went half and gave it a 55, maybe for the critics. For the critics, yeah, 60. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. You guys are like tied. Really? Yeah, it's a 58 percent. The Karen's closer. I did 55. I know you did 55. She did 60. That put you get fifty yeah, 50, 60, fifty-eight is dead center. Fifty-eight is not dead center of fifty-five and sixty. Sixty. She's you said sixty. I'm two away. Oh yeah, 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 right, right, yeah, right. right. All right, so well, sorry, let's, sorry. Let's do basic yeah. math. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, brain's a little dead right now. Sixty. Minus Shut two, up, Karen. Fuck you. <laughs> That's halfway. Make That's my not. make my brain hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so fucking Karen won just barely though by one point. Yeah, like barely. Yeah. No, barely no, by no, one no, point. No, no, the bad thing is I had to. Pro- I had to also <laughs> that I suck at math and I was the one that went. No, you're wrong. <laughs> Shut up, Matt. <laughs> Actually, it was a fifty-seven and a half. Then he had it. <laughs> yeah, that now old. he changes it. Uh, oh, yeah. Fifty-seven and a half. Don't look at Rotten Tomatoes, though. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I believe you. Uh, all right. So Karen will take the win on that one. Uh, all right. So what do you guys think about? You got uh, two hundred fifty thousand plus ratings Jesus. from audience. Oh God. Yeah, so like quarter of a million fucking ratings. I'm going with seventy-seven. Seventy-seven from I'm Karen. I want to say they went lower and gave it like a forty-five. Karen swept you on this one, dude. Seventy five percent. Really, that's good. Well, because you know, yeah, they, like a lot of them do bad when it's old movies. So. Oh no, not this one. No way. Uh, well, not this no, one. I, didn't, I wouldn't give it a forty five, but I figured people. No, you gotta understand, dude. This one's got more. <laughs> you can't call the people dumb. <laughs> I didn't call them dumb. You said not intelligent. <laughs> Covering he up the mic, he covered, his mic. He covered his mic like they can't hear me. They can't hear me. Like just what are you just doing? for our, just for our listeners, I don't think any of you are stupid. Okay, I just just some of you just, just, just the people on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, so just, uh, if any of you are Rotten Tomato uh, contributors, he's not talking about you per se. Just the ones that are put dumb. the wrong wrong the kind one, of the ones reviews that, out there. The ones that come on here and feel that they have to be heard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, I feel like that's uh, us, dude. Yeah, I was gonna say we, we have we, a podcast. Yeah, I don't like we, that. We have like to be a, heard. 
<laughs> like, no, because the way I feel is I don't have to do this podcast. You guys told me to stop coming. I'd be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I think it's fun. Okay, so <sighs> we're gonna, I'm going to read you the critics' consensus Oh, no, here. I'd be bummed because, yeah. It's uh, fun time. It says here, <laughs> Con Air won't win any awards for believability, and all involved seem cheerfully aware of it, making some of this blockbuster action outings biggest flaws fairly easy to forgive. But he gave it a negative score. So, but I mean, but he's not wrong though either. See, no, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. He's wrong. That's wrong. the thing. His analysis is not wrong. Uh, that's no. the thing. I, I, some of them like they'll give like this. Oh, it was a great movie, but then they give it like a, a, a two. A and it's review. like what the what the wait, what are you saying? Like what? they're saying, watch at your own risk. Well, <laughs> it's almost like he was giving it like you know this. Uh, oh, they're they're painfully aware of what they're doing, oh. which I mean, all of that's true. Like they, you know, you can tell that. I mean, at least. Some of them weren't happy. I mean, what do you think they said? What do you think Nick Cage said whenever they were like, okay, we're going to put a long ass, wi- long haired wig on you? He's probably like, okay. I'm pretty <laughs> sure he was fine with it. Yeah. I, I mean, have you, that that dude, I don't think that dude. I'm sorry. Cares. But also, with. <laughs> I like Nicolas Cage. But didn't we. Does anybody else feel like his southern accent was a little too thick? <laughs> honestly i loved it i did i loved it like i thought it was so th- the reason why not even because it was so thick but because he carried it so fucking badly but no like it was just like it, you know it wasn't natural for him but at the same time he pulls off trailer trash really well but you know <laughs> like he does like, no the the best accent he's ever done is raising arizona i don't know why he didn't just pull that one out you know just pull that one out yeah. h.i it's, mcdonough where he actually was pretty much trailer trash i mean uh, come on. I, was, I was thinking of con air but he liked doing this and i was like wouldn't the Mar- wouldn't like the rangers kind of kick that out of him no, no, like, no. Uh, they, they might wouldn't. embrace that honestly Oh well, because like, you know yeah, how the, I mean, they're they, so they pick fun. And Honestly, stuff. his no, southern no, no, accent, no, 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 no. his no, southern no, I mean, accent, they might have like praised him for it. Like he no, might have been the cool guy. Not necessarily that guy. either. I mean, there's so many. I mean, everybody comes from everywhere in the country to. I know, you know but, join but the military, when you're in the military, so. when you're in the military, there's a lot of them that will pick stuff just to pick at you. They don't actually maybe in boot it, but... camp, but once you're out of boot camp, nobody uh, nobody cares. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like boot camp's high school, and then nobody cares. Uh, well, I, camp's never, just I, getting you ready for everything else. I, you know, so. I didn't get to go into the military. My friend, like Nick, uh, Andy, they said that what they do, what they do in that is uh, they um, tear you down so they can build up what they want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's boot, what, yeah. Boot camp, yeah. Boot camp is high school. And, you know. All right. Uh, Karen. All right. I'm going to try to go quick. So uh, oh, we trivia. talked about. We're talking about trivia, by yeah, the way. Yeah, trivia. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dave Chappelle, we talked about he improvised almost all of his lines. It's right. a good 80% of what he did was improvised. I believe that. Yeah. Body count was 43. Thought everybody would. Hell yeah. I didn't know that. I'm yep. glad you told me. That Body me count happy. was 43. This film is considered to be a diehard copycat. I thought that was interesting. It's nicknamed Die Hard on a Prison Transport Plane. Die Hard on a Prison Transport Plane. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. I haven't yeah. really ever seen Die Hard. I've seen Die Hard with a Vengeance a lot. I've I really need to see I've seen one. all the Die Hard. I've seen Die Hard. The... Die Hard. Die. Honestly, I will say this on the podcast: the Die Hard Die series. Hard's a Christmas movie. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> I, think one is. I can't believe that's such a but big like but like the entire <laughs> series. I love every one of those movies. Every one of them, even the new ones. I've seen the first one. I think I've seen with a vengeance, and I think that's it. Oh, I've seen and, all and, of them. And uh, the one that had what's his face, uh, Justin Long. I saw yeah. that one. Those all of the movies are solid fucking action movies. I don't care what anybody yeah, says. Yeah, I've seen with a vengeance. And even the one that takes place in fucking Moscow or where the fuck they are, where was he's that... going to find his son. The newest one. That movie was awesome. I don't care Wasn't what anybody that says. Die f- Live free, die hard. Yeah, or no, 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 no. That was the one that with Justin one Long. Just, yeah, that the was other one is. It's something like that. Something along those lines. Yeah, I can't remember what, it's, what it is. But it's just as badass as the rest. I don't care what anybody says. Those movies are awesome. Yeah. Every one of them. Um, the song How Do I Live was nominated for both an Oscar as Best Original Song and a Razzie as Worst Original Song in uh, the, at the same time. And it, how, how it, 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 won, it won neither. <laughs> how, how, how can it be... Like, there's been movies. There's been movies that, a, that have been a up. bad and a good. Yeah. There's been movies that have been like that. Movies that have been up for an Oscar and up for a Razzie. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. And actresses, uh, 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 Sandra Bullock, she won 
best actress and worst actress on the same on the same movie. What was movie. that for? Um, I don't remember. No, it was a, two different movies. I don't remember, but she won both. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then some actresses will fucking eat that shit right up too, mm-hmm. man. They think it's she funny. She did. She did. She she was. I think Halle oh, yeah, yeah, Berry yeah. was one of them too. Mm-hmm. She for uh, for, for Catwoman. Cat yeah. yeah, no, dude. If I if I was an actor and I want a Razzie, I'd be like, heck yeah, I want. Fuck the yeah, actual, I'll take like, it. Trophy. I got paid regardless. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, oh yeah, I'll put it on my mantle. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, honestly, if you if you uh if you're the type of actor or actress that actually like is cool enough to do that. Mm-hmm. You're you got except mad respect grace. for me. Accept oh. it with grace. Yeah. Yeah. Accept it with grace and just walk on, dude. Mm-hmm. Like if you can pick funny yourself, you're a better person. It, it, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's but it's also because one of those uh, you get publicities either either way. Yeah. Right. And uh, I, the way I see it is like you're you seem like a fun, nice person to me. And, if you and, can pick funny yourself. Right. And yeah, if you <laughs> if you accept a Razzie with grace, people are going to be like, oh, okay, she's easy. To, yeah. You seem more person. human. Yeah. 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 Um, John Malkovich was unhappy during production because the script was constantly being rewritten and he had no idea how his character was going to turn out. I can see him kind of being I like a control see, freak oh, and yeah. being like, like I off. said, he's a classically trained, yeah. like he's I, like a Shakespearean actor. You yeah. Know I, I, mean? I can like, see him just like losing his shit. I can yeah. understand also kind of getting mad at a movie that you're working on and it keeps getting rewritten while you're working on it. It's yeah, like, but with on. an action movie, yeah. especially one as campy as this. Yeah, and I mean, like, I could see that if you, if this was, like, some kind of, like, high, you know... High budget, like, yeah. fucking masterpiece or something. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, maybe The Dark Knight or something. But, you, you know, you but, didn't, like, you didn't you're sign on, a, on for Shakespeare here. You you're, signed on for fucking one-liners and explosions, dude. Right. That's what this movie is. Right. Martin Lawrence and Wesley Snipes were both considered for the role of pinball. Glad they didn't get it. Oh, yeah. They, they, they would have been terrible. He's supposed to be like the, the comic relief. Neither yeah, one of them. I mean, Martin Lawrence maybe I a little. I said Martin Lawrence maybe. But not Wesley, not Wesley Snipes. Snipes. Uh, yeah, yeah, like, that, I, would not, yeah. that would not fly. I'm, I, not fly? <laughs> I said, I'm not a Puns. big. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of Dave Chappelle, but I think he did a good eight. I think he did a good pinball. He was. I loved him. Yeah. Uh, John, Honestly, I could accept Martin Lawrence for that role too. Sure, but I, I, I could take I don't, it I, Yeah, maybe... Maybe no. Nah, Martin Lawrence seems too clean cut. Mm, not really. Well, if they were going to script it, if they it was probably scripted, and then when Dave Chappelle came on board, maybe no. They, maybe I could. They let him I, I, Martin Lawrence more. is not like if you've seen his stand up, he's he's kind of a raunchy dude. Does like, he? yeah, I've oh yeah. Seen, I've never seen a well, stand up. Well, what I'm saying is he looks more clean cut though. Yeah, but I mean the like, same I could would, be said for I, I you would, know what I mean. Like, I, Mar- if you put. Martin Lawrence and Dave Chappelle in front of me and say one of these is a convict. I'm definitely not going to pick Martin Lawrence as a convict. He just don't have that look to me. Maybe, which is kind of bad because I'm saying that I'm judging. But on something where you have to judge on looks, Martin Lawrence don't look like a convict. True, uh, it would be a convict. Yeah, and, I guess and I, I can see it a little bit. And if Dave Chappelle somehow or ever listens to the show, I am sorry. <laughs> I'm not Remember, saying. he's a nice guy. He just got caught. <laughs> then he lit a dude on fire. <laughs> John Turturro, I always say his name weird, uh, Michael J. Fox, Eddie Murphy, and Jim Carrey were all considered for the roles of Vince Larkin. <laughs> I love Jim you made, Carrey, you made but a I'm disgusted not face. Sure. He's like, oh. No, I for like who? Jim Carrey, but it's, I'm not uh, sure. John Cusack. John Cusack? I'm not sure. Who were the, like, maybe? John Turturro. Who the fuck is that? Um, mm, uh, Why do I know this guy? <laughs> Oh God! I can see his face. I don't I, know that I, one. I, but... I'm thinking of like all these movies. Uh, Mr. Deeds. Uh, he was the butler. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I could see that. I guess. Sure. And then uh, Michael J. Fox. Michael J. Fox, mm. I could see too, but not maybe not Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey does a definitely lot of not Jim Carrey, and I could definitely see him turning that down. Yeah. Yeah. He would definitely turn that one down. Right. Yeah. That because and Eddie Murphy, which what? What? Yeah. Uh... uh... Yeah, no, no, because he's too he's loud. Too, he's, he's too boisterous. He's too, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vince, yeah. Vince Larkin's character was sort of mellow. Like, yeah, he, he was very mellow. Well, that's how John. Ma- that's how. That's how he played it, though. Maybe I for a different don't actor. I see it working if it, if he was too boisterous. Like, honestly, that, I think if he would have been more boisterous, he probably would have gave more to the character, and he probably would have stole the screen a little bit, mm. which maybe would have made it better. No, and I'll tell you why. There's one scene in particular when they're talking to Cyrus on the phone. And the DEA guy almost gives away that there was a tape on one of the okay, convicts. Yeah. yeah. And instead of letting him give it away, he's he, very good at 
pushing him away, being you know, like, like one of those guards the day. faked a heart attack. The way yeah. he plays that character, I'm glad. Is I'm glad they didn't. I, I, I'm not saying because I know Jim Carrey would have turned it down, mm. but I think even if he did get it, could you imagine that? Like that would probably almost ruin. I wouldn't say ruin his career, but. It would definitely set him down a track of like, rule. well, should sure. he do more serious if you're roles? Basing and... it, well, I was gonna say if you're, yeah, and if you're basing it off his comedic roles, sure. But there's a lot. There's been some serious roles that Jim Carrey's done, but only in he... leads, leads only. Yeah, that's true. That's he's true. not gonna take this. You've role. never seen him take the step back yeah. and do something. He yeah. wouldn't. He wouldn't do, especially at that and point in his career. Too. I'm not yeah, sure how you do. Yeah, action movie. Yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, he played the Riddler, but that was a comical role in an mm-hmm. action movie. Yeah. I don't like, know. I liked. I, I think sorry. John Cusack did. A, I think John Cusack did a perfect job. Yeah, he's a per- he, very, very. I think he did a good job in the sense that he's forgettable, and I'm okay with him being forgettable. I like so, John Cusack. No, I mean like in the movie, like he's just a forgettable character. You know, that I don't care about. When I when I started watching this, and I and John Cusack came on the thing, and I knew he was in it, and I, and I actually went, I miss John Cusack. Yeah. Like I like him as a lot. He's a like, so like, like, I really like his. Like I want to get that one ch- movie that he's in because I like his sister too, Jane Jones. Jones, Jones like, yeah, yeah. But uh, that uh, I actually like her more than I like him. I like. What's that? I, I like her more than him. Oh, I loved her in uh, um, in Shameless. Yeah, she was good in Shameless. Yeah. Oh, I liked her in um, Adam's Family Values. That's yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was awesome in that. School of Rock. She was cool too. School of oh, Rock. Yeah. Yep. 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 This face-off and The Rock are considered Nicolas Cage's holy trinity of yeah. action films by his Makes fans. Sense. Yep. John Cusack, this is going to make you really like the guy. John Cusack considers Con Air a bad movie. Hated doing it. He only did it for money and leverage to do his own indie passion projects. It's not surprising. Uh, John, Another reason for me not to like him. I figured you'd love that. I like John Cusack, like I said. and I. Th- Sad part is I was okay with him until that. I kind of figured. Like, I was like, eh, he's just whatever to me. I don't like his political bullshit. He's always blasting all over Twitter, but whatever. His thing. But then you said that, I'm like, all right, what a fucking dirtbag. I kind of had to put it in there, though, because I was like, I I really feel like people really should know that because... Because he's not that great of a fucking person? Yeah, like... He's kind of a dirtbag? That really kind of pissed me off. Like, yeah, he's got that innocent face. And if I had to know it... And he's I got liked, that innocent face and that. Like if I had to know there's that, a I reason why Cusack, he's not a. All of you have to know there's it. a reason why he's not a fucking uh, leading man anymore in movies. Why he's yeah. doing low budget or nothing. Yeah, he's at not all. really. You don't see. Him you anymore. don't see. You don't see him doing anything. Well, anymore. and that's that's the thing that you know you can't bite the hand that feeds even if you don't like that yep, hand. That's right. So that that kind of that coming from the out. fucking same dirtbag that did that fucking uh, disaster movie called what was it 2012 or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, I mean, that movie was that's fun. That's exactly what it was called. 20 yeah, it was a fun <laughs> movie, but it was a CG fucking nightmare. Yeah. And it was just a bunch of natural disasters going on. And I and I would I I would argue was, that I would watch Con Air over and over and over again. I've seen 2012 once. I've seen it once. Yep. I've seen it. So, a, I've never seen the whole movie, but I've seen it a couple times. The main it's not I a stopped, terrible movie. It's just the main it's reason forgettable. I stopped is because you know for some odd reason I have weird things with disaster movies. I just ha- I just and have a problem with Woody Harrelson's I just have a problem with actors who say I did this movie for money. You just keep it to yourself then. Yeah, like you yeah. Know, I don't need don't to know tell that. Don't that. tell people that. Don't be an asshole. Yeah, don't be a fucking douche. Um, yeah, because you got enough money for what you've done already. Right. Just, just be right. Oh. Shut the fuck. But up. the like, sad part is though is you can almost see it on his face. During, in the movie, in the yeah. movie, and that's what I was saying. That, like, that's why I said he's forgettable because he that, brings nothing to the movie, right? And then, like when you know they were talking about that that review where he's like, you know, some of these people are phoning it in. Yeah, yeah, that's, they were, yeah, and you yeah. can tell. Mm-hmm. Um, writer Scott Rosenberg quit the film fourteen times. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> he, he is still unhappy with the fire engine scene and the final death for Cyrus the virus, but is proud that it is a beloved film. See, now that's. Good. That's okay. That's you can like say that. Things, if I, right. Like, if I was an actor, I think after every movie, the thing that I think is I would thank the fans. Because they're the reason it works. And that's my point. He's saying, you know... Yeah. He, thank you for loving the movie. Thank you for loving the movie. Even though it didn't I have the ending that for, I wanted. Yeah, I, I fought for this, but I didn't get it. But thank you for loving it. Yep. Um, yeah, I would definitely... If I was, like, a director or something, my, I would always give credit to the fans. Yeah. So you guys are going to love this. Cage uh, traveled... To and spent significant time 
in Alabama to work on his accent. Oh my god! <laughs> so of course he how did. does that make you feel oh knowing what we just talked about? Of and course what we he said did, because accent. only Nicolas Cage would, dude. But to, how did it? It didn't work. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you know, like he spent time at their local crawdad shops. Right. Like, like I don't even know if there's. I don't know. Like, did he but... just listen? And he didn't try. Yeah. And then he just like left and and just mimicked. Or yeah, something. He, like, like he sat in a restaurant for a day, like eating their fucking eat at Outback or something. It says significant. Just listen, to, like okay, how do you say that word? Let me run, no, it said know. he spent significant time in Alabama to work on his accent. So, so a like, whole day. Did he did he spend like six months just sitting in a fucking restaurant watching people? Talk yeah. What's what like, significant time? Right. Like, like what three hours? Obviously I'm sorry, not because they're long th- enough. I'm sorry, but I think if a real person from Alabama heard him talk, they'd find that kind of offensive. <laughs> Hold on now. <laughs> we really sound like a jackass. <laughs> what part of Alabama are you supposed to be yeah. from? <laughs> like the inbred part? Like I don't know. Uh, this movie uh, was released in June of '97. That's the same month as Face Off. It came out a few weeks later. The films were shot consecutively with the two productions nearly overlapping. Really? Mm -hmm. So he was back and forth, huh? Back and back, yep. Wow. He's making bank that year. Yeah. The, I now, wonder if that's the money you'll have the to, T-Rex skull. <laughs> you'll have to bear with me on this because I don't speak French. <laughs> the film was called Les Ailes del Enfer, and you'll understand why I'm telling you this, The Wings of Hell in France. Because con in French is slang, is a slang word for dumb people. So they couldn't call it Con Air. Cause... Might have worked. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, I was going to say, it might have worked. It's a slapstick movie. I just thought it was funny. Uh, Willem Dafoe and Mickey Rourke auditioned for the role of Cyrus. Rourke actually pulled, pulled a razor-sharp knife for his audition, audition, um, and he impressed the director. Wait, who was it? Who was it? Mickey Rourke and who? Mickey Rourke and um, Willem Dafoe. Really? And Rourke was the one that pulled the knife. Mickey Rourke auditioned for this after he was already a big name actor to begin with, mm-hmm. and he didn't get the role. No, um, he impressed the director by pulling the knife, but they went with Malkovich anyway. And the reason I would say they probably went with Malkovich is because, um, I'm sure Willem Dafoe and Mickey Rourke each brought separate things to it, because Willem Dafoe probably brought the uh, brains. And Rourke probably brought the brawn, but neither right. one of them had both. I'm going right. to tell you, Malkovich because, probably brought both. Because yeah. of the way Malkovich looks in the movie, I will never shave my head and the go- just the goatee. Like, I would never shave off yeah, of because, going, that, because then I'm just going to look. Because I don't want people going, you look like Cyrus the Virus. <laughs> That's a person I don't want to look like. I don't know, man. He kind of looks like a white supremacist, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. He, does, he does. He does. He That's the way a lot of white supremacists look in prison. Hmm. From what I've seen. MC Ganey says his role as Swamp Thing was his personal favorite. I liked Swamp Thing. Uh, Cage helped to shape most of Poe's character as a real person. He decided he should be a special forces guy to help explain why he could fight um, and be convicted to spend that much time. um, Because obviously, you know, there's... You're a ranger. Your hands are considered deadly weapons. And um, he also thought that he should be from Alabama. Uh, he also got them to change one of the guards to a woman um, as an added reason for Poe to stay on the plane yeah. as a southern man has a strong sense of chivalry, chivalry yeah. to women. Okay. Yeah. So he helped to kind of shape a lot of those See, that's things. a good thing because the woman mm-hmm. the woman guard really brought a lot more <coughs> yeah. to the That added a sense yeah. of realism. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, like, yeah. yeah, I will... Now, about... the fact that they put a woman guard on that plane to begin with is... That would never happen. No, I feel like that wouldn't happen. That wouldn't no. happen. Um, Unless she was actually a true fucking badass. Sure. Now there is, uh, this is going to make you guys real happy too, because we just talked about this with uh, John Cusack, but when John Malkovich was asked why he did this movie, he gave a one-word answer. Anybody want to guess what the one-word answer was? Money. Fans. Money. Really? I knew I didn't like that piece of shit. Yeah. I've never been a big fan of Again, if I had to know it, you guys had to know it, so I'm sorry. Um... Gary Oldman was actually the first choice for Cyrus. Who? Hmm. I, don't I wish he would have got it. Now, honestly, I'm kind of looking at it like, man, that would work. Gary Oldman could be playing you, and you'd never. That's know true. It. Gary Oldman is a badass. That's what I'm saying. Gary Oldman, dude, he was Dracula. Fifth Element. He was. He was in the Fifth Element. Is Zambatis? Is that Emmanuel his name? Zorg? Oh, Zorg. Yeah, yeah, he was Zorg. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
He's it's still, one of my favorite movies. I know. I wish is. they would have made a toy gun. <laughs> Oh, dude. Oh, that yeah. gun was so fucking cool. I would have bought that gun. That gun was so cool, dude. I would have bought that gun so hard. I would have bought that gun so hard. I remember being younger and like watching all the stuff that that gun's in. I'm like, I want that gun. I like when he turns around. And it's like shooting all the yeah. like, That was amazing. Yeah, like even as a toy, if it like, just shot Nerf darts and stuff, I could see his kids still buying out. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'd have been all over that fucking gun. Oh, yeah. Gun. Even yeah. like the net part, if it was just a tiny net this big, I would have been like yeah. all yeah, over I that thing. Yeah, I want that. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's it for trivia. That's all you got? All right. All I got. What are we watching next week, Karen? I don't know. You guys have to guess. Here we go, Matt. We got this, buddy. You won last week, dude. I really got a pee. You be okay. <laughs> Use it. Does it involve peeing? No. Wait. Maybe. It's been a while since I've seen the <laughs> movie. Uh, is it a recent movie? No. Is it from the 90s? No. From 2000s? Yes. Uh, is it an action movie? Has action. Is it a horror movie? No. Is it a campy movie? No. No. Is, is it, it a B movie? No. Is it a thriller? No. The fuck? Is it a comedy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, uh, male, male lead? Yes. Female lead? No. Just male lead. Okay. Um, is it from 2000, 2010? Yes. Does it have Ryan Reynolds in it? I thought you guys were supposed to be going back and forth. You're just asking a lot uh, Well, he's not asking, so I'm okay. asking. All right, that's fine. I, I, I'm sorry. That's what I thought we were doing is just ask. Uh, at first, I thought we were... But, we're supposed but to take turns. Time, but you're taking your time, so I'm going. just rapid fire. Yeah, that's la- fine. Last yeah. time it worked, so I was like, you know, I'll ask questions when I got them. That's fine. Does it have a plane? <laughs> that yes, actually. It does have a plane? <laughs> Probably a few. <laughs> Probably a few. Okay. Um, but it's comedy, male lead. Uh, it's not action. I mean, there's. Is Chuck, Chuck Norris not, in it? It's not an action movie. It's not an action movie. Okay. So. Um, is Chuck Norris in it? No. Uh, is it. Does it have any blood? Is it violent? No. It's not violent. Um, is it sappy? No. Is it. Raunchy as hell. It's raunchy as hell. Okay. No, I might not want to watch it. Um, is it a National Lampoon movie? No. I don't think they did any in the early two thousands. Um, is it Bachelor Party? Bachelor Party was in the eighties. Is it Hangover? No. Yeah, Bachelor Party. Because look, because the last time you were talking about Bachelor Party, so I didn't uh, think about the date. Are there is is it is is the main is the are there like big name actors in it? No. Hmm. Is this gonna be a hard one to guess? I I don't know. <laughs> I tell you, this is so open ended, man. I know it can be, uh, but I'm having fun with it. Maybe um, we should add like a like a three hint, like you can ask yeah, like three, you ask up to three certain, hints a certain or amount something. Of questions and no, we get we get one hint per person. How about that? Okay. Um. What do we say when we want the hint? Just hint? Just say, give me a hint. Give um, me a hint. <laughs> I knew you were going to mm. use it right away. <laughs> well, I don't have any questions. Man, it's so hard to come up with hints, too, because, like, something everything that, won't that you give it think away. of, like, is something that would give it away. Um, is it a popular movie? I asked for a hint, dang it. <laughs> She's not coming up with one fast no. enough. No. We know it though, right? Yes. Okay. Does it take place in America? Okay, that's your hint. Some of it does. What do you mean some of it does? That's your hint. Some of the movie takes place in America. That's that's but his not hint. most that's of his it, hint, right? But not most of it. He asked for the hint, not me. Right. That's the hint. Is that not most of the movie? Takes place in America. Not most of the movie. So most, most of the movie does not take place in America. Okay. See, I don't know when movies came out because I got some. Guesses. Is it Rush Hour? That's no. an action movie. What am I thinking? Does um, have some funny moments. You'll see, I got action movies on the. Uh, come on, comedies, man. It's comedies, yeah. Uh, Euro Trip. Very good. Is it really? Mm-hmm. Fucking a right. I got rid of that movie. Did you? 
That movie is so horrible. I can't believe I... Dude, it just popped in my head. That's a good one. That's what we're watching. Euro Trip, baby. It's got Seth Green in it. It doesn't. Yeah, it does. That's Road Trip, dear. No, it's no, Euro wait. Trip. No, Euro Trip does not have Seth Green in it. Euro Trip does not have Seth Green in it. I think I still... I think I gave it... I might yes, it does. Have. Yes, it does. He plays the Amish dude. That's, That's sex, sex drive. That's sex drive. Is it? Yes. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> what do you miss about the outside world? Sarcasm. My people don't get it. That's sex drive. Is it? I also know that's a sex drive because I seen a little thing of it on my fa- YouTube show up. Say, uh, I think you're right. Sarcastic. I know guy. I'm right. Yeah, your trip is funny though because uh, the part where they do. I, if you were gonna ask for a hint, I was gonna say it's not a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I might say I might still have Euro Trip. It came in a. Th- it came I knew it was going to give it away, but I could not use that. <laughs> they wouldn't have gave it away either. Oh no! Like, huh? <laughs> if it, I would have taken a minute, probably. If I would have taken a minute, if I still got it, it came in a pack of Euro Trip and Road Trip. <laughs> <laughs> I don't own If the you movie don't either. have it, I can let you borrow I'm it. I'm going to own it. Sorry. I, I told you from now on I'm buying it. Yeah, that's movie. fine. That's fine. Yeah. So even though I don't even own Road Trip, I'm going to own this one, though. Yeah. The sequel. But, it, <laughs> but it's Didn't not. look it up I know. Not it's not a it's sequel. It's not a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I kept touting that it was. I'm like, no. It oh, doesn't. man. <laughs> we have gone way over yes, on this Yes, we one. have. <laughs> All right, so next week, join us. We will be reviewing Euro Trip with I have no fucking idea who's in this movie. That Some girl people. that played Willow's, uh, that played Buffy's sister, Scott. Yeah, Scott Mecklewitz. Mech- yeah, Scott Mecklewitz, Jacob Pitts, <laughs> Travis West. Scotty doesn't. Or, Michelle Trachtenberg. That's who you're thinking of. Scotty doesn't know. You know, Scotty I doesn't to, know. I used to have a thing for my phone when like cell phones were. Matt Damon. Said, Mail mother- that's what I. That's my text Mail message. Mail motherfucker. Yeah, it, it's. I got rid of it when my kids were young because I didn't want them to go around saying motherfucker. I got to tell you, if you have not seen Euro Trip, please watch the movie and listen to this podcast because. And just remember, it does not have Seth Green. It doesn't have Seth. Green. It does not have. Seth <laughs> They're right. It doesn't have Seth. And Green. it is not. It is. You will not have any continuity issues if you don't watch Road Trip first because it is not a sequel. No, it's not a sequel. Dude, you made out with your sister. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he's sitting there's like smiles and like. Giddy. <laughs> he wants to say it so bad. <laughs> yeah. It's a good fucking movie. Um, so Lucy Lawless is in it. Mm-hmm. I love Lucy. Flaffing Oh, yeah, yeah. She's the... Uh... <laughs> Vandersex. <laughs> Watch the movie and then come listen to this podcast. I tell you, you will not be disappointed because that is a fucking hilarious movie. Yes. Um, so until next week, when we review Euro Trip, Karen will be hosting. Yep. Not the sequel. Not, not the, the sequel. Not the sequel. <laughs> That's going to be a whole thing next week. No. They should come out with a sequel to Euro Trip called Euro Trip, not a sequel. Euro trip, not road trip. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you next week. Peace. Bye. Bye. Bye.